definition. No, look, the Seawoods have been on that map ever since like previous videos. I'm sure Christina will back me up, right? <laughs> she will. They've, <laughs> they, they've been there on that map for ages, since I updated the map anyway. So, uh, oh yeah, but welcome back to Void Heart. It's been six weeks since our last playthrough uh, because everyone's been busy and a little bit of complications with real life stuff. But we're back and I'm assuming everyone needs a catch up. So uh, I will start from after you returned from the Underdark. Uh, after you returned from the Underdark, uh, you met Morash, you encountered Ungaia, you uh, did several different things where they, uh, Mern left, well, left the party by that. I mean, he took a permanent position inside the castle as its smithy and agreed to marry Namira, the Duagar princess, to unite uh, the above-ground folk and uh, this Duagar clan to also fight for D Lord Dolath. Um, on other important news, Otti has uh, started her morning sickness and is being continuously sick. Erky and <laughs> and his cleric girlfriend are always arguing, as usual. Uh, Ali Aiden's crazy. Tumbles put traps all around Dolas' room for some reason. <laughs> and we had a dance fight with the undead White Lord of, of Loki Rest, which was quite entertaining. And on your way back, you decided to go visit Ali Aiden's master, Lord Bigby, Kolka Bigby. And you went through the mirror he'd gifted Dolaf during your wedding and found out that his mansion is bad shit crazy. That's the only way to put it, isn't it? It's mental. I mean, you fought a T-Rex. The bouncer was a T-Rex. Uh, you fought some sort of weird corrupted machine that fell from the ceiling. You found an alehouse drake, which uh, Dola fed from and got royally smashed. Vagors found a new friend in the water elementals in a bathtub and the mimic Trevor. That's a good time. Yep. And Tumble got petrified for about an hour. Uh, he's got a newly shaped nose where uh, Arlie Aiden might have chiselled away slightly at it. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh god, yeah, when I was a pitch. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, and um, we left it as Arlie Aiden opened the door. After being snuggled by uh, that gargantuan rug of snuggling, he walked through one of the doors and found that there were about five or six doors right ahead of him. The room started to fill up with water. He panicked, went to go open one of the doors, and a mimic's tongue lolled out and went to hit him. And that's where we ended the session. And a little bit of a cliffhanger. Is Ali Aiden going to die? Stay in touch. You'll find out in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll move you guys over to the map uh, so you know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, there it is. So, uh, if you can find yourself, that'll be fine. Because you're all in different places. Like, Bagel's by the stairs, uh, Dolaf's in the bathtub. Yes, I don't recall being in the bathtub, but apparently I am. Well, you were pretty drunk in real life and in game, so I don't know if... Uh... <laughs> it's called method acting, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember dragging a few people places as well, so that's probably why. Yes, uh, Vagor did see the statue of Tumble, and then decided to explore a bit, walked off, saw a boat in a room, and oh, went, Oh no, this. it's all coming back to me. Yeah, Vagor... <laughs> yeah, Vagor... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Vagor got his prophecy told by a raven, and uh, I believe we ended it there. And Tumble's like, I believe we ended it as Tumble's trying to get in the door to rescue Arlie Aiden. Yeah, I opened the door, I was like, right, careful, this door closes back on itself. And he's like, okay, we'll <laughs> <through."> <laughs> And then the door closed, and I'm like, well, he's dead. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, we begin with Tumble. In front of you, the doors are slammed shut, and you can hear the sound of water beyond it. You should put your ear to it. You hear Ali Aiden blah, 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 making weird sounds, screams. Ali Aiden, you better actually be drowning in there. I don't want to have a cry wolf kind of situation. Um, can I open the door? Uh, <laughs> is it like can, anyway? Yeah, yeah, there's a lock. You can try to get in. Uh, All right. You can make a thief stalls check, of course, to try and get in. I'm gonna see if there's okay. Any... Sure. Urgent. Really Stand bad. back from the door! Hold on. Got 15. Yeah, okay, so 15 is... Uh, it's a bit more difficult, and as you, as you pull your thieves tools out and think you've got it, there's a purple glow inside the lock as you hear all of the uh, chinks and kinks inside just reform, becoming a new lock. And you, oh, what fuck. the hell is this shit? And you hear Ali Aiden... And then it goes quiet on the other side. Uh, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna try the other one. <laughs> Rush over the second door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Um, go for Let's a second check, yeah. Yeah, fast hands. Oh, yes. 
That's uh, what we need. Can, oh. can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, God. Uh, yep, yeah, it's 20. Nice, okay, so as you manage to open the door, there's a crack that appears down the front. It goes, Ow. and then suddenly water rushes out towards you, smacks you into uh, Susan, the gargantuan rug of snuggling. You both go tumbling out, Vagor. You're about a <laughs> stairwell. You just see all this water come rushing towards you, about a foot of it. It goes, right, just, it's weak enough to just kind of like hit your ankle and give you a little bit of a difficult time, but then Tumble comes sort of surging out a second <laughs> later ah! as he comes sliding down towards you. Yeah, uh, just like, hold, my foot, hold my foot out so you'll bump into it. Yeah, okay, so Tumble, you do take one bludgeoning damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Dolef, about five or six seconds after this has happened, you can hear this bang sound. And where you're by the bathtub talking to Trevor and the Elementals, uh, Petrolia, suddenly a load of water just rushes by, about an inch of it. And then begins to seep into the bathtub. And Trevor goes, oh, fuck's sake. Someone's <laughs> triggered the mimics. And not me, I meant the other ones. The nasty ones. Am I still white girl wasted? Uh, you're, it's starting to sober up because of all of this activity around you. But you are a little, yeah. <laughs> I should probably see what that's all about. Oh, of Excuse course. Me. Uh, no problem, the elemental waves you off. And I'll make a very starfish flail attempt to crawl out of this tub. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you want me to put you up the stairs? Are you heading that way? Uh, no, I think in my drunken inebriated state, my lack of memory will navigate me drunkenly perfectly. Okay. So I'll just I'll just wander drunkenly until I find it. Uh, let me know if you find the stairs and want to go upstairs. So Vagor and Tumble, you're right next to one another currently. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to dynamic light that door so you can see inside. So, uh, what was that all about then? Uh, can I explain it all in one word? <laughs> Ali Aiden. That's me. Yes, that's what I thought. Very well. Yeah. What did you find the other way? Well, it's not that interesting. There's, well, perhaps you could have used it. I think there's a boat there. Uh -huh. <laughs> That does come strange to you. There's a boat in the house. You know, you're like, what? Uh... Show me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just through there. Go on. Which uh, which way is it? Bago can lead him. Go go on. I have found some stairs. They've got like dynamic lighting screwing me up. Yes. Ah, more of those crystals. I ain't touching one of those anymore. Oh, oh, it's only a small boat. Oh, okay. Wait. There wait. you are. Why is it so wet here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you were in the tub, but other than that, uh, ask Tumble. Basically, in one word, I laid in. I don't know what else to tell you. It's, uh, we're, we're trying to sober you up. I kind of splash a little bit in his face. Yeah. Anyway, this boat could come in handy, you know. Um, <laughs> is it like actually a loft? Yeah, it's like, no, no, it's like just in the no. corner. Uh, you just see a boat just sat there. It's got two walls. Ready to go. It's like, just for some reason. There's got to be a reason to this madness. Where is Arl Uh, oh, He's somewhere that way. Uh, with your perception, uh, I believe you can see that far. Don't, no, you can't see that far, don't uh. But you can hear him mumbling to himself down the corridor. Yeah, he, he's fine. I hope so. Uh, can I see across this bridge and... Yep. You see that, okay, so, yeah, okay, so Tumble, what you see ahead of you is the void. You just see darkness and stars twinkling above you. There's a blue shield that you saw out in the front garden that protects this mansion from the void, but this bridge crosses from a hole in the wall that's been smashed through. It looks like there was once a window frame here, and it's slightly hanging and creaking in, uh, in the wind, and there's only a slight breeze. But what you see in front of you is uh, a wooden bridge that's been crafted out of magic. You can see the the veins of purple arcane energy spider webbing out from the timber. And it leads over to a floating chunk of rock in the middle of the void, an island, if you will. Uh, mm. And you can see there's trees on this island. It looks like a nice little garden, long luscious grass. Uh, grass. But uh, the bridge has been nailed down with these large um, kind of flagpoles on the other side. And you can tell that 
the chunk of rock that the bridge leads to, if it wasn't um, positioned with the bridge, it would probably be orbiting the house or spinning. I see. Yeah, so you can uh, see it was a chunk of love, lavish, lush grass garden mm, in the middle of the void. Okay. Oh, wait, from where you are at the moment as well, Tumble, you'd be able to see that there's globules of a massive lake attached to it, just floating towards another smaller house that looks all smashed apart. Um, oh, yeah, you guys should check this out as well. Hey, sorry. Arne, your voice is pretty low. Ah, sorry. Is that better? Yeah, much better. What do you see that time? I didn't want to step into the room, but since you were there, what do you see? I'll reload everything that you just told me there. Okay, yeah, you guys can step in if you want to take a look. Seems safe for now, but I guess I could test the bridge. I'm going to put my foot on it, test the strength of it, um, okay. inspect the timber. Can I tell how recently made or how sturdy it is? What was that, Vagor? Never mind. If he wants to risk his life, it's fine. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> so Tumble, you, you realise it's well made recently, and um, you can see there's... Uh, actually, make a perception check, or an investi investigation would be better. Yeah, that's what I was going to like, investigating the... Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It, it looks like there was an accident here of sorts. The window is smashed, and somehow all of the planks have fallen to form a bridge. Hmm. That's a spot of that. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, I can't tell how safe it'll be, but uh, this room seems okay. I just don't know how safe it is stepping out into that. My point towards the void outside. Yeah, so the question I was going to ask before you did is, not only can you, but should you, and if so, why? But you seem to be intent on stepping into danger without thinking about it, so please feel free to explore. I'll just wait right here. Huh. Not without reason. There's clearly something on that rock over there. Yes, very, very well. As I said, I'll wait here. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna a strange sense first. of curiosity, that one. I'm gonna check my surroundings first. Let's see what's in this. Can I check this door for traps? and? Yeah, you can check this door. Um, Dolaf and Vagor, you can see he's like checking the walls, moving around the room. Yeah, it, d it doesn't look trapped. Is there a keyhole? Or is it um, does uh, it... No, in fact, as you approach the door, you check it for traps. You go to go to touch the, the the doorknob, and it retreats from you, sinks into the wood, uh, becoming just flat. What yeah. the heck? Huh? I push on it. Okay. <laughs> the door opens to reveal a corridor. Uh, of stone flagstone flooring, stone flagstone walls with this uh, very dark, dimly lit interior. You see two human skulls hanging from chains uh, on the right wall that have candles inside their eyes, uh, letting this uh, corridor light up in a glowing interior. Okay, okay. That's odd. <laughs> <laughs> uh... This house just keeps on giving surprises. Uh, who wants to come down the skull-lit corridor with me? Any takers? Nope? Okay, oh. right. Yes. Looks like it's down to me. <laughs> I love how you two are just watching him. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to tiptoe forward. Can I check for traps inside this corridor? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, as you go along, you can make a investigation check. Oh, man. Twelve. Okay, so you don't seem to see any. Uh, the skulls look purely decorative to light mm. the horn seem gloomy and mysterious. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to quickly pull out something uh, to wedge the door open. Yeah, okay. So I don't get just trapped in here. Let me have a look yeah. what I got. You can stick a pit on underneath. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pit in, and then just shove it in there. Max just make sure right. the door stop. I'll tiptoe forward, keeping my eyes on the skull. Okay. And then, well, what's the other car, What's the other door look like from here? Exactly the same as one you just you came through. Interesting. Um, what you do see though is as you stay there, as you step past that skull, the lights flare up in its eyes, and you hear the creaking as it then its mouth moves, and it looks towards uh, you, floats good, slightly. Good day. Uh, we have visitors, Mary. And then the black skull further down the uh, corridor goes, 
Oh, Jimmy, we haven't had visitors in a very long time. Master doesn't come <laughs> see us anymore. Oh, uh, 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 you can hear talking, yeah. So, well, sorry, what's that, Tumble? Pleasure to meet you, uh, J Jimmy and Mary. Uh, I'm Tumble. Uh, yes, it's a very pleasure to meet whatever you are. Grey okay. little person. Mary, not... let me do the talking. He could be here to rob us. I'm a snurf left nifflum. It's a deep gnome. You're a deep what now? A tiny pocket people. Ah, pocket person, now I understand. <laughs> Thought you'd get that lingo. <clears throat> yes. So, um, you seen the uh, master anywhere around here? Oh, of course. I've, I saw the master several days ago, in fact. Uh, he hasn't seen uh -huh. us in a while. In fact, he hasn't brought me food. I'm hungry. Uh, what do you eat? <clears throat> Uh, you see those uh, crystals that are protruding from the floor around the around the mansion. Uh huh. Yeah, well, uh, I feed on wild magic, same as Mary over here. She goes, "Oh, I don't like to though. It makes me feel strange." And he goes, "Yeah, but I love wild magic. I love yeah. I love it when Ali Aiden used to just feed me tons of those crystals until I popped." <laughs> Yeah, they do weird things to me, Mary. Don't worry, I'm not gonna plan on touching those anyway. Wait a minute. Anytime. Don't touch them, not you. They're made for us and the creations in this house. Oh. That's our sustenance, that's how we keep living. Okay, well, uh, what's through that door, by the way? Oh, that one? Uh, you just came through that one, surely you should know. No, I didn't. I came through that one, and I point behind me. He goes, well, I am blind, so I cannot see. Oh. Well, well you got two little eye sockets. I'd... Yeah, they're decorative. Oh, oh sorry to assume. Uh, it's all, it's all, through... I can sense your presence. <laughs> what's through the west door? Which way's west? Oh, yeah, yeah. Point me okay. in the direction. Grab hold of me and point me. I grab a hold of him. <laughs> he goes, all right, careful, lad, careful. I am a delicate skull. And Mary goes, oh, oh, he is. Uh, okay, so you, it lights, <laughs> up the, lights up the corridor, which, by the way, as you grab hold of his skull and push him to face the wall, you see his, his candle light lights up invisible runes all along the wall. Oh, he acts like a kind of like a hooded lantern sort of thing. Yes, that reveals invisible inks, um, it seems. You got uh, some strange vision going on here. Do yes. you normally light up these? Well, uh, the thing is, I can't see normal folk, but I can see into the realm of the ethereal. Ooh, that's pretty handy, Jimmy. Yeah, that's what I'm used for. That's what I was created for. But, you know, uh, the master now has true sight, so he doesn't have much use for me anymore. <laughs> I can find a use for you. Uh, well, uh... I don't belong to you, uh, Deep Gnome. In fact, me and Mary here, we've just recently been married, so it's best that we just stay here. Oh. Well, does your uh, lovely wife have any special talents? Or oh, is she, oh, oh, take me! I'm fed up of him, please! <laughs> Hold on. Uh, does this skull come away from the wall if it's No, it's chained. It is attached by chain. Yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, can I roll an arcana chain to see what these runes are all about? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, that's better. Yeah, the runes are blasting. Oh shit! Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they not touch those. Uh, whereabouts are they on the? Uh, on on the south wall, all along. Uh, about five foot ahead of you, filling the entire wall up on the other side. Hmm. Okay. Well, you you do know your corridor is full of explosive runes, right? Yeah, I really do, but, but, it's for our protection. Uh-huh, except that if they go off, you'll probably be caught in the blast, so... Well, now Mary would. Oh, oh he's, he's so abusive, come get me, please! Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can I tell if touching Mary will activate these runes or not? Uh, with that arcana check, uh, no, it won't activate the runes. Okay, uh, how do you do, miss? Um... Hello! So, what do you do for the for the master in here? Me, I yeah. see. I, I I can see normal folk. I can see their oh. souls. Oh shit! 
can see my soul. And I can see that you are obsessed. And she waits okay. for a second. With revenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say re revenge. Okay, Obs yeah. Obsessed. Pretty... You are obsessed with revenge. In fact, well, you're starting to scare me. You're you would to... be if your entire village was killed and, well, taken over. Wow, that's a... And he hear Jimmy go, wow, what a depressing story. Uh, yeah. Anyway, leave her alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mary, do you know what's through that door? Oh, the west door? Mm-hmm. Oh, I believe that was the master's observatory. Uh -huh. Okay, if I go through, it won't activate any of these uh, these rooms here, will it? Uh, I don't know. That's not a good answer. I'm uh, going to have a quick look myself. Can I check this door for any traps or triggers that Roll might... investigation. And I'll, okay. After this, I'm going to move on to Dolof and Vega in the other room. Okay, so... Yeah, I know. If you open this door, the runes of blasting will go off and probably blast you into the void. Yep, no, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to head back. It was nice meeting you, Mary. Jimmy, good day, good day to you. And uh, um... By the way, from that side tumble, just as you're going to walk away, Ali Aiden walks, opens that door and walks through. What the... <laughs> as I get through this end... <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh, hello there, Tanto. Oh, watch out. No, don't touch that wall. No, he comes sliding through and they don't even activate. Uh, what the hell? He goes, oh, what's a, what's a boat doing here? This wasn't here before. I come out okay. face palming. Meanwhile, while, while you guys were having a small little chat, is there anything else you would like to do while Tumble's talking to the skulls? No. No, <laughs> you can We've just been discussing the, uh, the pets in the garden. Oh yeah, from here you can definitely see uh, some sort of small dragon nesting in the tree. And you see it's got like a light blazing around it. Perhaps I was mistaken. Arlene, is he soaking wet? Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so what did you see through the other way? Oh, cute. I do believe with my powers of observation, brother, that is not a pterodactyl. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm catching up to what you guys were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now it's come this side of the foliage, obviously it's dragon, but before, <laughs> when it was behind the tree, it looked, you know, um, pterodactylish. Wait. Yes, well, it's, it is a kind of lizard thing, I suppose. Yes, I mean, I've only read about them, I've never seen one before, so I have to make assumptions. Yes, fair enough. Well, uh, Tumble, I expect that I know the answer, but you went in there, there was weird stuff, there was a laden. Is that about the, the gist of it? We heard some talking, I... Yeah, I there's some... Not to get involved. I don't know what they are, them talking skulls, but... They can see the into the ethereal, or, or your soul. I Wanna see. get your soul checked out? <laughs> no, I'm quite alright, thank you. <laughs> what? Okay. What exactly now is our plan here, Tumble? Are they... The master they said, uh, sorry, they said they saw the master about a couple of days ago or something. So I don't know where he is, but we're here to find him, if I recall. I don't, we've only found traces of him. Maybe he went out there, and like I point out into the void, never came back. Yeah. Ali Aiden did mention he was stuck in the void. There's a fair chance he could be. Yes, and if he is stuck in the void, then that is where he will stay, no? Unless we try and get ourselves stuck there as well, I don't see. Well, he seems to think that our liaison would get him out. Ah, well, Leyden is here. He's somewhere around here. I think I might go for another bath. Hmm, me too. I'm pretty rough. Arlie Aiden, do you know where he is? Uh, Arlie Aiden looks at you with a blank stare. He's probably chilling with Iliana by now. And then just goes back, ah It's a boat! And he climbs in the boat. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Please don't leave me here. <laughs> Arlie Aiden lays down in the boat and takes a short rest. Uh, I'm, uh, fine, I'm gonna join him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'll sit. 
get the get the oars out, pretend to paddle with him. I'm okay. slowly losing my mind. Okay, so if you guys want to spend an hour, you can get a short rest. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go and chill in the bathroom. Yeah, probably. that works. I'm gonna talk to the dragon. Okay, we'll get to that sec in a second after I've just rolled his goddamn hit dice. What an eager owl, eh? Not much. A total of 13. 13. Which is enough to get him to half health. <laughs> I'm one off four, and I've used every single hit dice. Okay, so Dolaf, uh, you can step into the garden if you wish. Nope. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna shout from here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, Hello. Before I, before I would go, I would go and patch up the others a little bit. Okay, yeah, okay. So I'll roll for spending kit. Should do it. So for our laden, seven hit points. Yeah, our laden goes, oh, it smells like vapor rub. And six for you, Dorath. Thank you, very cool. Tom, well, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Took a little slip from the water earlier, but that's about it. Literally, that one point of bludgeoning damage is what's preventing me from being full. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and I'll, I'll spend some time while I'm sitting in the tub, just putting putting together some bolts as while I'm leaning yeah. over the side, uh, just bundling together some herbs, throwing a few in the bath for good measure. For some, yeah. Uh, you notice the, the for, uh, for some incense. Yeah, the big elemental joins you, and she just you just have your normal chit chat that you've been having in the past couple mm -hmm. of hours. So, Dolaf, while Tumble and Ali Aiden are taking a relaxing, uh, fake rowing ride in the corner of the room, what do you say? Hello? Uh, the small drake looks up from its nest, nesting point, looks over to you and goes, What are you doing over there? Wondering what you're doing over there. Well, it's my house, is it not? I don't know. Well, it is. I assume so now. What are you doing in the master's house? I can see you over there. Traipsing around, probably stealing his shit. No, I'm here with his students. My cousin. It, you see its eyes go wide and he goes, Well, holy shit. Is, is Ali Aid in there? And he yeah, kind of looking around. Rowing, apparently. But we'll tell him that uh, that waxy stuff he made. Uh, well, it's, it's starting to piss me off. And you can see there are these small foot by foot circular piles of white wax dotted around the garden. There are about a dozen of them with little wicks on top that are on fire. Just a little bit on fire. But you can see that they look like small candles. And he goes, Well, uh, well, it was a lovely food source while it lasted. But, uh, they kind of fought back, as you'd expect. <laughs> the candles fought back. Yeah! Are you not hearing me? What's your name anyway? Dolaf. Ah, uh, do wait a minute. You're, you're Dolaf. Ha! I heard a lot about you. I'm afraid I haven't heard much about you. Well, you should have, because I am Lord Joshua Tiggins. Hmm. Well, greetings, Lord Tiggins. Uh, is your master over there? Yes, if uh, you take a gander to my uh, right here, you'll see that there's a... Oh, look, there is... He looks at it, squints, and he goes, A river? <laughs> I, I, look, look, my friend, I, d I don't know. It's, it's some sort of globule. And he says, he's over there. He was, anyway. Is this thing safe to cross? Well, of course it is. Okay. What What's on that stone over there? That? Well. Yeah. Well, my friend. Yes, that is my prized possession. And I might just be willing to give it away if, uh, to, to, to a lord. Although, I was saving it for Arlie Aiden. But uh, uh, it might be wasted on him. Brain damaged as he is. I suspect a lot of things are wasted on him. Let's just say about uh, and you see him bring up his wing, the little claw of his wing to his face, scratch the side of his temple, and he goes, 
Well, uh, when uh, Ragnarok happened, I uh, I might have uh, snuck into Asgard and I, well, you know, stolen, <laughs> stolen something. And that's it. That doesn't sound like the wisest of moves. Well, all the gods are dead now. So what does it matter? I ain't gonna drink it. I suppose you make a fine point. The problem is, no one wants to drink it, because it was shat and puked out of a giant bird. That seems a reasonable assumption. Mm. Maybe you should gift it to Aljaden. I know, right? I thought he was the only one crazy enough to... Uh, drink it. <laughs> Most likely. Well, friend. And he jumps down onto the rock, looks, and as he does, he kind of looks nervously at the wax on the floor near him, and he goes... You stay there, you fucking asshole! And then, like, picks up the, the glass vial, which is red, flies over these candles, letting them waft, and then lands on the bridge here, stops roughly in front of you, turns back to these waxy piles, and he goes, I tell you what, they, they're looking. They know I'm coming. They can sense it. And then he drops this vial down onto the ground in front of you. Uh, thank you. And then flies back. Oh. Pick it up and have a look at it. Okay, you can make a religion check. Ten. You have no clue. It's some sort of potion. Um, you open it. <laughs> Sugary. Smells like mead. Cork it. Aliden, what is this thing? How am I to know? It looks like... And he grabs it out of your hand. He pops it, laps a little bit up like a cat, puts it back, and he goes, tastes like mead. Uh, he will roll religion, by the way. Depending <laughs> on what he gets, what, he's, what he actually says. Mead. It's disgusting mead. I quite like mead, but I don't think it is. Mmm... Is it a tiny vial? Did you mention mm, about? Fr it's like more like hip flask shaped, but it is glass. Uh, it's corked at the top, and it's got the imagery of a griffin on the front, and it looks like the griffin is shitting. <laughs> oh. I'll pop it in my pocket for now. Okay. I'll ask uh, Corky. I'm sure she'll know. Oh man, one of them two must do. Yep. Cool. So you um. Put it in your Vial pocket. of shit mead. <laughs> Bird shit mead. <laughs> oh, lovely, I love it. Well, um, tumble. Apparently, the master is over yonder bridge. I don't see him. What? Where? Down by a river or something, in a little globule, apparently. Uh, yeah, uh, Lord Joshua Tiggins says, Well, uh, hello, you can come over if you wish. They only want me. For some reason. Uh, so that... yes. The candles are apparently a thing. That's why I'm up in this tree. Candles? Can I spot them from here? Yeah, you can see one, two, three, four, five. You see nine to ten candles. Like, they're large, like, piles that will look like melted wax with long wicks that go up about a foot. And then you can see there's a tiny light on the end of each candle. Like, just a tiny flame light. And it, mm. yeah. There you go! There you go. What is I think it? We're moving on. Oh, already. Yeah, it's been an hour. Oh, fine, fine. Let me dry off. I'll be right there. Are you quite that? sure this is safe? Are you talking to the dragon? Lord Tiggins. Yeah, he. Well, 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 of course. Hello. Yes, of course. All right. Oh, he goes, look, they want me. What's up? Inside check that anyway. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm probably sure he is telling the truth, but Tumble would probably inside. Yeah. Um, all of you have enough to kind of realize that this little poor Drake is shivering in fear over these piles of wax. Oh, God. Um, all right. So we, we might have to have a little tumble with some wax. I don't know why wax would even want to kill a dragon, but I bet we're going to get in the way of it, and then they 
it's probably going to attack us, let's be honest. I mean... Um, let's bit... try and navigate the bridge first. Hmm. Uh, hey, uh, Mr. Dragon Guy, uh, can these candles actually see? Hello! Uh, what the... Yes. Uh, I believe so. Do they have little eyes? Uh, yeah, kind of. Kinda? Yeah, kinda. Uh-huh. Okay. I was, can I tip do across here? Yeah, you can run still. I'm gonna try and get close and see. I get, I get a better look at these candles, because I can't see them very well. Um, I'm going to ready a shot at a candle in case it goes for tumble. Okay. I'm gonna get behind this tree. Okay. I'll do the same. I'll get my bow out as well. Yep. Can I? Can you pinpoint the candles or? Uh... There's like one there. There's like Oops. one there. They're dotted all over the garden. I can't spot them. Yeah, I haven't put them on the map, but there. they are there. Shit. All right. Um, now I've got a better view of the river though as well. Yeah, you can see the the globular mass of water. Oh is. shit! My 120 foot. Freaking dark vision can see all the way to here. What on earth is that over here? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I can spot it from miles away. Yeah, you can see like this small, smaller outhouse kind of like t that would, would have normally been attached to the mansion just floating there. And you can see the glow of like magma and lava flowing out of like the windows over there. Oh my god. Okay. I have a hunch that the master is over there. But um, I'm gonna, not going to say that loud. I'm just thinking to myself. Hmm. I really want to try and catch these candles in like a fog cloud, but because I've got a scroll here. Are you going to examine one of them? If I if I can do so without being detected, yeah. I'll, yeah. Well, you got you can I'm not, try. I'm not going to say. All right, I'll give it an arcana check. See if I can. With him it. having gone out of sight. And the bridge seemed to have not killed him well, as he crossed it. Technically, you can see him. It's just that I've used dynamic lighting there, so you can't go flying all over the place. Okay. Well, um, I can't see around the wall, so... Yeah, but I technically, you can see him, like, there. All right. I'm yeah, give it... I, but I was around the wall. That's yeah. what I mean. I'm going to yeah. come in. Yeah. Okay, well, what's all these What's these candles about, then? You have no clue. Uh, when you just run your hand slightly over one, it feels smooth, just like melted candle wax. Mmm... I go back to Dola. I think we're going to need that boat. Um, what boat? <laughs> I go back over the bridge. Ali Aiden, give me a hand with this. Ah, uh, okay, he does. That's Come on. It. He lifts you up one side in. and he's like, oh, it's so heavy. You can do it. Yeah. It's only a small boat. I'm going to try lifting it across the bridge with him. Okay, so Vagor and Dolaf do notice Ar uh, Ali Aiden and Tumble like carrying a rowboat over to the... To yeah, I'll river. go inside at this point as well. Yeah. I think there's no immediate danger. I'll put my bow back. And then you plop it in the water. Yep. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Are we all, all going to board. fit in that? You well, will if you squeeze. I'm tiny. It'll be fine. Yeah, you notice as you approach, the water is probably about 30 foot, 40 foot deep and tapers to a point at the bottom. But it looks like it's been held together with magic and you can see like tiny little uh, pink fish dying around. But then the depths of it are just too dark and blue to see anything. Um... All aboard the voyage of madness. Let's go. <laughs> uh, perhaps you put the boat to the back there. I have a, a suggestion for you, Tumble. If you want to motivate people to do things, perhaps don't say things like that. Well, I'm just trying to give you a decent expectation of what I, <laughs> I know, everything else we've seen in this place. Come on. Yes, I see. It's only going to get weirder. And by the way, there's lava over there, so... Fantastic. Get ready for that. Well, I'm just very glad that this boat's made out of wood. It bodes well for us. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, put the boat to the back. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll start rowing across then. Okie dokie. 
don't know what those candles were about, but uh, you go pretty just... slow. You just chirping along. Ooh. Okay, once <laughs> once we get to here, I need you can put all of yourself on the boat. I need everyone to make a perception check. Sure. Natural 20. Nice. All of you actually spot it, but there is a large dark shape appearing from the water to your right, and it's rising and getting larger and larger and larger, and you see this huge creature swimming up. Um, it's going to look like ram your boat, but you're all past your perception check, so it doesn't get a surprise round. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank god for that. <laughs> <laughs> Put myself over there. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, yeah. Ah, throw a net into the water. Yeah. <laughs> what? Holy oh, shit. Ugh. Okay, maybe I don't throw a net in the water. I thought There's it was like a big fish. Quite a grim thing off the starboard bow. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm, yep, Mr. Dripple's got 16. Oh, am I waiting for? Just tumble. Oh. Our lady as well, I guess? Oh, yeah, yeah, our lady would be there. Oh, damn it. Hold. He might drop harder. <laughs> he got really high. <laughs> okay, so, tumble. At first, you see this huge... Uh, what looked like humanoid large like figure swimming up towards the uh, boat with hands outstretched and as it surfaces you see this ugly looking creature with great yellow sallow fangs protruding from its lower jaw glowing yellow eyes uh, hair made of seaweed and these shells pockmarking its entire body as it comes up to grab hold of the boat okay um, oh, is it my turn? it is your turn yeah yeah, all right, straight off the bat then. Ah! Uh, I quickly pop open one of my scroll cases and uh, pull out in thrall and begin to string together a confusing string of words. Um, you know, say, uh, we're not a fish, we're, we're not a whale, we're just a wooden boat, and we don't taste, we don't taste very nice. Just uh, go back under, go find some fishes. Look, there's plenty of over there. Okay. He gets a wisdom save for it. Yeah, it's with advantage if it's in combat with us. It is, yeah. Are we actually fighting it, though? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, god, that sounds good. Yeah, okay, so he... <laughs> a really tasty fish, right there. Look at him. Okay, so he comes... Uh... So God's like surging up, plops onto the water, you cast him front, and he puts his little hands against Well hello there everyone. Just wanted to welcome you to the Master's Mansion. Um <laughs> to, to, your, to your right you'll find the master trying to keep Iliana inside, and to your left you'll find the garden, which I believe Lord Joshua Tiggins is looking after currently. And if you go into the basement, excuse the unworthy guests, they're just a bunch of prisoners. Uh, I believe you've met the Paper Drakes and probably the Owl House one that looks after the rum. So, uh, is there anything yeah. else I can help you with? My name's Mr. Dripples. <laughs> I will be your guide today. I just look to my left and look to my right. <laughs> Ali Aiden's like, Mr. Dripples! Gives him a massive hug. And he's like, oh, hello there, Ali Aiden. It's been a while. Um, how are your adventures with your cousin? This is your cousin? Oh my god, give me a hug, don't laugh, come here. Puts his massive hand up. I whisper to the guys, we've only got a minute, let's get the hell over there. He's like, uh, Could you potentially uh, pull us ashore? Well, of course I can, and he swims behind and begins pushing you towards the other side. It's most right. appreciated. Yeah, thanks, thanks, sir. Uh... He goes, no problem, um, if you need any help, I'm just in the water, like I always am. It's fine, it's oh. fine. Watch out for the lava, that stuff burns! And then he <laughs> just disappears under the water. Okay, uh, bye. Um, that oh, was when we... impressive tumble, well done. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, you <laughs> <Chris. laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm kind of like sweating one out, I'm like... Yeah. Okay, I can't believe that worked! Ugh. Do you have another one of those for the way back, or should we... No. Ah. 
Let's just hope we... We'll figure that out when we yeah. get to we'll, it. Okay, we'll so this is one thing that I wish Todd was here for, but we're going to have to... We can wait, that's fine. I don't mind. Sorry? If he, needs, if he needs a beer, I don't mind waiting for him. Do a quick hiatus. Uh, we will take a quick five-minute break and then see where Todd is and his location. So be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we are back after our long extended break, uh, but we have Todd here playing early Aiden, so, you know. I have returned! You have returned. <laughs> I no longer have to put on a silly voice as I try to act him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so as the rowboat bumps against this, well, what looks like makeshift shore, this floating uh, smaller part of the mansion that seems to have floated away and smashed away from the actual house, uh, you row up to see small streams of lava, um, you know, pouring out of the, the walls and, and making their way to the other side of the walls and just vanishing in, into thin air like magic. But, Arlie Aiden, you see your master, Kolka Bigby, standing uh, by the far double doors to your right. He's got one hand against it and you can see purple magical ripples emanating from his palm. And he turns and you see there's a thick amount of sweat across his brow. And he just goes, Ah, oh, Aliaden, you're finally here. It has been some time, my master. Oh, yes, I've... Why, you've been dilly-dally-shilly, shall he? I've been keeping Iliana in check behind this door. Uh, a wizard never dilly-dally-shilly-shallies, master. You taught me that. We, uh, we do precisely as we need. Yes, yeah, so true. I'm glad that you are my student. And Tumble, there you go. Don't laugh. I don't believe I've met Vagor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Furbog. Um, you know who I, I do, yes. Um, I... Good to meet you as well, I suppose. You seem... Well, no offence, but rather I'm more sorry. sane than I Well, my, apolo my apologies, Master. He doesn't speak very good English. You must talk slowly when, when addressing him. <laughs> but he looks at you and goes, It's okay, Vagor. I can understand you. I have a permanent comprehend languages on. Uh, of course, of course. He turns towards the door and he goes, but seriously, Ileana really is attempt <coughs> to overpower me. The reason why I've kept her in here is because you need to see what she has to say. She demanded to see, well, you, you all. Uh... uh we wasn't expecting to meet Ileana face to face right now. Uh, why wouldn't you? I don't know if we're ready to do that, but... Uh, I, I see that your uh, small pocket person brain can't comprehend what's actually happening here. Did you know the elephant's brain is roughly the size of a peanut, Master? Uh, I did know that fact, yes. I'll just glance over at, at Tom, will give him a knowing look and just shake my head. Yeah, same. I'll just shake my head back. Uh, listen, that is Ileana in there. That's the one we've got to be... That's the one we've been trying to stop this entire time, no. right? Like, No, it's not. Wait. Uh, yes. It, it yeah, it is. He looks at you all with a, with a weird queer look and he says, No, 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 it's not. She's the one responsible for the whole void leaking out into the world, No, right? she tried to stop it. Yes, uh, initially, but then the is void corrupted her. An earlier Iliana. Uh, uh, an earlier Iliana? There is no earlier. This is her. I was there. At the gate. She fell through the portal. Right, Mister Bigby. Can I ask? You yes. What day is today, and what year is this year, according to your thoughts? He looks up at you, wide-eyed, sweat drips down, and he blinks slightly to get it out. <coughs> it's... I... I don't know. Time passes so queerly in the void. I, I can't tell you the date. All I know is it's been several thousand years since Ragnarok. <coughs> and do I know enough to tell him whether his perception of time is correct? Yeah, it prob uh, as far as you guys are concerned, it was probably about a thousand years ago, maybe... You're not quite sure. Like, the gods are still worshipped uh, because, like, of course, their spirits live on. But... 
Right, so Ragnarok was a thousand years. Apparently, old, yes. Roughly. In legend. And he thinks it's several thousand years. Oh yeah, totally. I've been here for a long time. I haven't seen Ali Aiden in several years. Since the wedding. Oh, they were they were delightful times. That's one we can pinpoint more thoroughly. Uh, that was not several years. Did you have a boy or a girl? Unknown. Unknown? What is it, a hermaphrodite? I can fix that. Not yet. You seem to be mistaken on the current timeline outside of this place of yours. I'll, no. No, I'm never mistaken. I'm I Ali Aiden, you know. I'm... Um, and as he as he blinks slightly and twitches, you see a black tear fall out of his cheek, and mi mingles with his goatee. Lord Kolka is infallible. If you continue to doubt his word, I will down you here. <laughs> that you may do, but if I'm correct about my suspicions, then he's definitely lost in time. Oh, be, be careful yeah. about what you say. Because, um, Mr. Dimbles will come, he'll come and shaft you in the ear, old! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And I'll, I'll continue and say to, to Big B, Look, Master Big B, you mentioned that Ragnarok happened several thousand years ago. I was there! The, the timeline outside your domain does not match with what you're saying. Ragnarok was only a thousand years Can ago. Can you ever make a persuasion check? I can try. Does someone want to back me up on this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I half did with my uh, recollection of time with relation yeah. to the wedding and the baby, etc. Mm -hmm. That's my input to Any that. Any chance for advantage? Because I'm going to need it. Sure. Like I'm a nice GM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so he goes, Truly? I have lost time? But I swear, the wedding was several years ago, and I did think it queer that... Gained it, it seems like. He goes... It seems that you're ahead of our time. Well, it is slightly awkward when you're out in the void. There's no sun to go by. All I've got is the endless stars. Uh, and he goes, and this! Ileana attacked me out of nowhere. And then suddenly she wants to talk to the rest of you. I mean, she's been missing for... 60 years, <clears throat> hasn't she? Don't tell me I've lost time there. And you know by Morash, it's probably been about more like 16? Can I yes. insight check him when he says... Sorry. Um, when he says specifically talk to us, I want to insight check yeah, sure. him. Okay. Yeah, okay, so um, he believes, he's telling you the truth, Ileana wants to talk to you, but there's just a little tiny detail he might be hiding back. Like he's, He goes to say it, and then he goes... Nah, nah, nah. Marbles to himself. Uh -huh. Seems you have lost. Well, what what? It seems that you think the time has gone by faster, both on a small and large spectrum. The years and the time discrepancies don't seem to match. Are you s with the wedding? You are a few years off. With Ileana, you are about a few decades off. With Ragnarok, you're a few millennia off. Um, well, maybe <laughs> I've lost my marbles. And then he reaches into his pocket and goes, "No, I haven't. They're still there." <laughs> <laughs> If Ileana really did just want to talk to us, why didn't she just send a letter? Well, she's been in the void for so long. Uh -huh. So she's obviously crazy. <laughs> Master Bigby, have you also been in the void? Only the past couple of days, yes. I do experiment with the void occasionally. I must see its properties, because although I cannot help physically with welts and saving and and all that stuff like my master used to because the council says i can't i can advise of course i can advise on the side of good or evil depending on what i choose and of course i'm good i'm good aren't i Elliot? and yes i'm good so very good and you see that a, 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 like a toad pokes its head from underneath his collar and he goes no you get back in there i mean oh, david yes david nice and warm here <laughs> You see, it's just, I'm sure I saw you cry tears of black a moment ago. No, never. I never cry. S similar to Morash's wound. Morash has a wound? I haven't, yes. I haven't seen him in 60 years. 16. That's the one. More like his entire arm. Perhaps. Look, I have these days where I'm on and off. Please. 
Forgive me. I'm trying to keep her in here, okay? So wait, are you going to let us walk in? She's just going to use that opportunity to get out. Oh yes, she has to get out at some point. I can't keep her in here forever. Why is she trying to get out? What does she want? Freedom. And why, why then are you keeping her in here? You're, you're missing some sort of detail well, here. Well, she can speak to you if she holds it back. If she holds it back. But it will consume her and you will have to kill it. I can't, like I said, the council forbids me. If I get involved, I disintegrate. That's not good. Although, I will only return to my home city. It is a shithole, I'd prefer to stay here. Seriously, it's warm, but wet at the same time. I mean, who builds Waterdeep? It's a shithole. Uh, look to the others. What do you guys think? We go in there, we risk getting corrupted, just like Morash, just like the rest Morash of them. Morash is corrupted? Never. He's a good man. Good dragon. Whatever. Well, I suppose to speak, we don't necessarily have to go in there. Can we communicate across this threshold, Master Big Boo? Uh, no, I've put a ward. Um, that's what I'm attempting to concentrate on now. In fact, I've been concentrating on it for... Wait a minute. He looks at you. And he's about to say 4,000 hours, and then he goes... 37 and a half. Look. It sounds like a bad deal. Anyway, and I don't have my spell book. Where is your spell book? I left it in the library. Psst, Ali Aiden, you have it. <laughs> yeah. Just, I thought I'd remind you, you did take it from his office. Oh, I do. Uh, oh, 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 what do you mean? You, you mean this, this book of pictures? Ali Aiden, hand me that now. I need it. Mind your step. Uh, of course, Master, here. Okay, he looks at it and he goes, Now I only need eight hours rest and the ability to prepare my spells. I only know my innate sorcerer stuff. He begins striking for his books. Slams it, puts it on the chain at the side. <coughs> ding dong, ding dong. Open the fucking door. Yeah, if you wish, if you wish. And he looks to the rest of you, brings his hand out of the magical barrier that's covering it. Oh, you see the, ma the wood begin to warp. And then he goes... I'm just going to ready my bow just in okay, case. Okay, and then that's when the entire door swings wide open, wind floods across to you all, and then darkness surrounds you. We will begin with Tumble. <laughs> tumble. Yeah. Darkness surrounds you. Suddenly you hear the screams, and they're familiar screams, of your people being burnt and frazzled ripped apart you stand upon the precipice looking over your deep gnome town and you see these abominations and these duaga and these drow flitting between beneath the streets and the cliffside ladders killing maiming and you can see one beholder the one that you remember from your dreams the one that you originally wanted to take revenge on Firing its beams of fire from its eyes, melting your, your friends, melting your family, melting your people. And then you look to your right and you see a woman, long red hair, she's beautiful, pale, she wears silver armour, mithril, and she has a helmet in her right hand, and she kneels beside you, and, she look, and her voice is gentle as she speaks, a tumble. Don't worry, this isn't real. What, what is this you're... Why are you showing me this? I'm showing you because I have information for you and I have a request. I have to turn that down because it's coming through on someone else's. Could I just say the hymn of the faith fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, and as she sits down next to you, she says, I know where they are. And as she, well, they're in the bloody and the dark, And she they? reaches forward and she says there's more than just one. More than just one what? More than one beholder. Uh, you did... There always is, isn't you see, there? Beholders are born out of the void. These aberrations born from it sporadically, <coughs> and I've seen it in the past <coughs> 16 years that I've floated freely. I need to give you this information so that you can help your people and help this world. Do what you can. For my sake, for everyone's sake. Uh, and she tells you the names 
I'm going to give you this copy pasta. She says, they call themselves the Cabal Connectao. Um, they're free beholders that have come together to work together. You'll first have to fight the one that you remember, Athel Rimzo, the one that sprouts fire from his eyes. And then the simple tyrant called Nip, the one who enslaved your people. And then Volt, the third, the leader, the most mean. And then she whispers one name to you that you recognize. She goes, Find Binklewind Smiderson. Then your journey and your onto your revenge can begin. Is that the Yeah, reason? that's the gnome that you released from the Underdark Festival. Okay. And then she she leans back and goes, Now I have a request for you. What well, all this information is conflicting. I I was under the impression you were the one leading the Duragar army. Who me? How can I trust you? No, it was not me. And then uh, I'm going to whisper you something so that it doesn't reveal it for everyone else, of course. And then we'll get okay. one then. Uh, make sure this does. Just remember to add. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, <laughs> you copy paste. It's all good. It's not going to copy and paste. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, you see? Okay, so now we go to Fagel. Fagel. As the darkness oh, swallows yeah. your character, you see bars, silver bars, and you hear Sigmund's voice beyond going, Yeah, this one. Nah, he's useless. We we'll sent him to the pits. Helga got this one for me. He's got a strong back. So if he goes down into the pits, bring up more ore for us, yeah? And Vagor, from where you see, in the chains rattling around your wrists, you can see Sigmund and uh, Helga in front of you. Helga being the tattooed-faced halfling, the one that ensorcelled you, the one that had convinced you that this was the best course of action, and now you're in manacles. And then Sigmund, with his long, lanky, black, greasy hair, leans into the bars and goes, What's your name? Hold on, I, I get up and can I you walk kind of, to the Yeah, you can, you can walk forward to the bars, but the chain stops you from getting, like, within about a foot. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. Okay. He, he looks and he goes, you, this is before you learn all of your magics and everything, or so he goes, you are slave. You get that? You're not, whatever you were before, you're nothing. You are the carrier, you are the pickaxe that you wield. You will be bringing that ghost steel up and down. And if you complain once, <laughs> well, let's just say Aphorimzo has a taste for furbolg flesh. And you've all, you, the fear strike, it literally, the name strikes fear into your heart that you'd be fed to the beholder. He just sighs and says, no. Yeah, that's when behind you, you hear the telltale sign of male jinking. And he goes, <laughs> Get your rest, because you're going to need it tomorrow. And the halfling that had tricked you laughs as she turns around and walks off, leaving you in the darkness. And this mailed figure stands face to face with you. And she doesn't pretend to uh, be happy or upset. She just stares you directly in your eyes. Says slavery is wrong, but I can see revenge is burning deep in your heart. Yes, no beast or man should ever be caged like this. And I know that you wish to kill this man, Sigmund. No, I just need to get my hands on him, and I will. Perhaps sooner than later, but please, for restraint. Your world has any chance, trust me. He needs to be alive for the most part. He has a greater destiny, just like you do. Mostly alive, you say. Mostly. He needs to be able to do his part, of course. Trust me, he will be a great... For this, does he need his legs? Yes. He will be a great ally to Lord Dolaf. To whom? Lord Dolaf. 
Don't worry, you'll understand this all very, very soon. If you say so. He nods. Look. What? 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 I mean, you're, what you're saying sounds very nice, but it also makes no sense whatsoever. So, what are you here for, like, really? Well, I'm here to warn you. And I'm also here to tell you that Sigmund, when the moment comes, and it will come very soon, show mercy and restraint. Trust me, he is going to be a great help in the future. We'll try. And... That's when, at that moment, your chains shatter, and the door goes and opens up. All right. And then from that moment, I'll I'll try and and find a way to uh, uh, to ambush Sigmund and show him that I could easily kill him with you know twice mm -hmm. his size for Um And then release him. As, and as you escape into the as yeah. advised after after you, es uh, yeah, you escape into the underdark afterwards, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Arlie Aiden. Yeah. As the darkness surrounds you, you are back at the gate. Your memories flood back. You are Arlie Aiden, Lord Arlie Aiden, apprentice of Colker Bigby, and the gate itself stands wide open. A huge serpent's mouth stuck in a yawn, um, and all of your allies are gone. And it's silent. Motes of magic are just raining down around you. And Ileana steps across the puddles of magical energy, floating. She walks towards you, grabs your hands, and whispers something into your ear. And I'm going to whisper it to you. And you can reply with whatever you want. Um, Whoever you are, you truly do have a remarkable strength to release the machinations of my own mind from itself. Yes. Well, it's the void. It's interacting with your mind because I am in. I am encircled by it. I need you. The re the wretched cur that has its grip upon my mind will return soon, and I will not have the strength to do what you ask me. Just try. As I am now. As I am now. It would be as easy as snapping a twig. She nods. I wouldn't doubt it, Ali Aiden. You're always such a good friend. It's good advice. It's just, I need to tell you something. And if you can remember it, I need you to relay it to your friends. And then one more. One more whisper. Yeah, you're right. Copy and pasting sucks. It doesn't want to whisper at all, does it? Anyway, there you go. You see that, Alieda? Yeah. I will try my best. I need you to finish it when the time comes. Again, do not pray too much for me, for I fear I am beyond hope. No, no one is beyond hope. Then use what little you have left to return me to as I was. I can try, and I will try. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to ask while you're in your sane form? <laughs> mm, no, he's going to remain silent. He's going to remain absolutely silent. Okay. And that's when suddenly the darkness swallows you again. But Dolaf, however, you stand before the battlements of one of the five sisters. Your brother behind you has an arrow deep in his chest. He falls back. He's laughing despite this blood trickling down his chest uh, and through his mail. He looks up and he's screaming, but everything is silent and in slow motion. He turns to your left and you yourself, you seem more powerful, more experienced. And you have a guard of elite Elsman around you tumble to your left, screaming in fury as he stabs into what looks like an orc's foot and then climbs up and rips the guy's throat out. Vagor beside you with his totems, slinging magic, Arlie Aiden somewhere in the sky flying about. And as the slow motion comes to a drags to a halt, you see Ileana. 
the general, the dreaded general, the one that's invaded your lands. And she comes stepping towards you all, uh, towards you all, except she stops about three or four foot before you and gives a slight bow. We should end this all now, as he steadies his bow, ready. You won't be able to, I'm afraid, don't laugh. And as much as you wish to kill me, whatever you think is me, that is. I you. I need to I need you to get one piece of information before before I go. It's becoming really hard to concentrate on this. Okay, and then I'm gonna whisper you. <laughs> and speak your piece before I end this. Nice. What are you called? Why are you actually called? Mm. On on Lord Aaron's Ah, fire. okay, so. I whisper this, it actually whispers to you, yeah? Cool. It does. Cool. One moment. Furious time. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same really realization creeping across your face. That's creeping that creeps correct across tumbles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Quite. She looks at you and goes, I've been in here forever, it seems. One year in the void is a thousand. Sixteen years and millions. I saw it. Your information is confusing. I saw his hand come through trying to rescue me. It didn't get me. I'll consider your words. Yes. Oh, and one thing. I'm sorry for what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Can you all roll initiative? I mean... No? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. What the shit is that? What Whoa. bloody hell is that? Standing before Jesus. you is a massive void, tentacles all lashing out and ripping out at one another at reality around it, warping the space around its body. Except that as it move forward you see Ileana's face appear in the center her arms reach out as if she's trying to push through elastic and then you see a spear her naked body and then her head goes <laughs> as it lurches forward floating about three or four feet off the ground oh man i mean tumbles like probably got fighting back some tears from the vision he was just shown and he's just like, wires them away, and then okay. grits his teeth, he looks towards Initiative the thing. didn't come up, for some reason, on the turn order. That's the it has for me. Except for hers, and Big Beast. Okay, well, I haven't got any turn order, apparently. Mine's on there. Yeah, apparently. Just reload your page, maybe. If I do that, it's going to fuck up the thing, but I will. What's going to fuck up? There you go. I'm going to reload the page, but it'll <laughs> fuck up the uh, layout. I can read. Whoa! Sorry about that. It went really loud on this side for a second. Oh, for the recording? Yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah. For the recording, yeah, whenever you load up um, Roll20, it seems to put the volume to max. Yeah, and it like was really loud, it made me jump. Yeah. Does that to me too. Okay, guys, I'm just going to sort out the chat log. Okay. There you go, sorted. Uh, so yeah, I can see you all now. She hasn't rolled. I have an elixir of health as well. Okay, so Dolaf, in front of you, she... Uh, oh yeah, you get to go before her. Like, literally, one one initiative first, so go. 
Well, I was half already drawing a bow in the vision, so hopefully I'll continue that motion straight into drawing my bow. Yeah, forward. hell yeah, go for it. And I will attempt a shot with Heartstring Kiss. Don't use sharpshooter, guys. Don't use sharpshooter. Oh. <laughs> the arrows, as they go towards her, begin to just slow and slow and then just drop down. Tink, tink, tink in front of her. Uh, her body is edging further out of the voidling. And you see the body is attached to her lower lower half of her body. And it begins using the tentacles as millions of legs and just <laughs> coming forward. At the top of her initiative, she moves... I will take my second oh, okay, shot. Yeah. I do. <laughs> not, not using yeah. sharpshooter this okay. time. That's a hit. Better. So 16. Uh, and I will use uh, Grasping Arrow as well. Uh, what does Gra Grasping Arrow do? So nine, sixteen plus nine. So okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, the arrows don't seem to have any tangible effect. Like as it, when they hit, they do damage, but you see that it's not as much as you expected. Even though they're magic. Even though they're magic. Damn. Uh, I can... have one small request for you. Okay. Could you please change the music to something slightly more epic? This is epic. <laughs> I don't have any epic music, but that's... I'm loving the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's all I've got, really, for you. Thank you. Um, 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 okay, so... At, at initiative 20... You can... Can everyone roll a wisdom saving throw? I mean... I'll pass. Um, should be with advantage, but nope. Um, okay, so you needed 17 to pass. So, Vagor, a wave of psychic energy assaults you, but you just managed to fight off. Whereas everyone else goes, Aah! as the, your head fills with the screams of the void. You'll take... Not a lot of damage. You'll take 10 psychic damage. Not a lot of damage. You all really suffer good. disadvantage on your next attack. Jesus. Uh, tumble. Okay. Um, quickly wipe away the tears from mm -hmm. that vision I just saw. I'm going to run, jump over the small lake of fire, mm -hmm. and slam my back up against the wall here. Draw, draw my short yeah. swords. Um, and uh, can I be out of sight here? My out of line of sight. Yep, you are. Okay, um, I'm just gonna hold my action to a. Can I actually? Can I use my bonus action to hide first? Uh, you can try. Okay. okay. Um. Sure. Eighteen, and I'm just gonna keep my back up against the wall and hold an action to attack this thing. If it comes through. Okay. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can get your attack. Oh, alright. Oh, there we go. <laughs> cool. It's a disadvantage, but because I'm hiding, has it spotted me? Or... Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Oh, yeah, no. You can't. <coughs> yeah, it knows you're there. Okay. Alright. Okay, so it's No, you go, ah, and you strike out, and you just seem to slide right through the shadows of its body. Okay, well that didn't work. Ali Aiden, do something! Ah. Okay, so it turns to you, Tumble. Holds up the spear. Can you make a wisdom save and throw? I've got another one. Okay, you fail. Looking Suddenly, up. you feel this spear's psychic energy ripple through your mind. You feel your soul being torn apart. And then... You see this smile creep across Void Iliana's face as she finds your weakness, and then she lashes out with the spear. You have vulnerability to this next attack. I'm gonna um, can he dodge if there's yeah, any damage um, or anything? Let me see if I hit first. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> probably, he says probably. <laughs> uh, you take double damage from whatever this is. So you take 28 damage as the spear goes through your chest, and then she pulls it out. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to uncanny dodge yeah. that, so it goes back down to 14. Yep, yeah, cool. Does 14. Look at it. She okay. uses the rest of her movement to get here. Um, yeah. Uh, she's done that. Yep. She needs I... to take. <laughs> Am I getting attacked above? You yet? do if you wish. Yes, certainly. Um, Did you catch that eight damage? Yeah, I've, I've negated it. <laughs> cool. yeah, correct. yeah, uh yeah, yeah, I did. I negated it. Alright, roll damage. Okay. Um also now that he's in next when, to uh, I can, no, can I use When she it? left your op yeah, she was she was next to Kolka, so Okay, alright. Sneaky sneaky. Let's go. Uh, where are we? And because it's a crit, I roll that twice, right? Yep. Cool. I'll plant my secret shank and get an extra wall up in there. So we're talking kind of bit here. Seven plus five. Twelve. Yeah, I got it. I've calculated. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! I'm minus two hundred and seventeen by accident. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. all right. Yeah, got it. It was a very powerful career. There you go, yeah, you've managed to stab in, and as you did, you managed to find part of the core. What weapon did you use, by the way? I'm using my sword, like, short sword of lightning. Short sword of lightning? Like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, as you stab in, and then pull out, you see it's got a load of, like, void energy stuck That's to fun. it. But you managed, oh, because shit. it's a magical item, you managed to just flick it off and it slops to the ground. Ah, what the hell is this stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not get any on you. Okay, this is going to suck for all of you, but uh, one attack Ali Aiden, one attack Dolaf, one attack Vagor. Um, okay. First one goes against Ali Aiden. We've got four attacks in a go. Yep. Uh, nope, botches. The tentacles lash out at you. You just managed to duck out of the way. Uh, a critical on Dolaf. Ouch. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. If only I was full health to begin with. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah you drop to zero as it smacks into you. And Vagor takes. What do you mean that's not a hit? Ah, uh, is it? Is it not? Yeah, of course. It takes 21 damage. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, as these tentacles lash out and they whack Dolaf across the face, you see a gash appear and then void tentacles even appear on his face and begin wrapping around his head and encircling him. Um, Ali Aiden? Fear these. Give them the appropriate respect they deserve. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that was pretty normal for you. Oh, he's, he's retained some okay. shit. So you notice that your cousin has also dropped to... Uh, Zero right next to you, like unconscious, and you uh, actually you can make an arcana check if you wish to see what's going on with him. I will do very quickly, but I'll also, as I'm doing it, I'll cast my spell, pat myself down. Why do I have no healing implements? Somebody help this I man! I thought you did. I thought you had the orb of healing. No, I'm not trusted with anything. He's <laughs> 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 got that. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing my arcana check. Okay, so you have no clue what's going on with him, but he looks like he's being consumed by the void. Somebody cut the appendages off his face. You there. He did it. He, he points at, he points he, at he Vagor. Passed. Okay, yeah, the lightning bolt streaks through it, and as it hits, it doesn't come out the other end. Like you expected, with all your lightning bolts, they go through the target and hit everything behind. This one just kind of stops dead as it hits the core of the voidling. Okay. Uh, oh crap. Rather. How does my wild magic surge work? Uh, Sorry, this is not like ideal. You can... Oh yeah, roll a d20. D20 rolling. No, you don't want... You can use your Tides of Chaos to gain advantage on any roll, and then when you next cast the first level spell or higher, you automatically wild magic yep. surge. There's that. Cool. Uh, okay, so... Well, you can't use Tides of Chaos because you didn't use any attack to hit yet. Yeah, no, I know. Although I you could have used that on your arcana chip. I mean, mm. I mean I we won't I we won't wreck on it been... now, but yeah, you remember <clears> that. <throat> okay, so Kolka steps back. It's like it's like Iliana. Stop! 
<laughs> and then he goes to cast a spell, and he just realises he hasn't had his spell book for three days. He hasn't got any spells prepared. He just looks down, and then goes, shit! And then loads of magic missiles appears in his hand, and he goes, bam! And just fires a ton out. He might as well use his ninth level spell slot. Well, if he, if he hasn't prepared <laughs> the new ones, he would have still had the ones he had prepared when, like, 4,000 years ago, or whenever it was. Which apparently was Magic Missile. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh god, the ones. <laughs> for a... Yeah. For a nine spell yeah. <laughs> he just goes, <laughs> pow! And he was using most of his others to keep the ward up, anyway. And now it's yeah. Vagor's go. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, a bit hesitant to trust our Laden's word. I mean, it makes some sense, but some self-preservation happening as well. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it is awry. So, first of all... Um, let's do this. As a bonus act. Yep. Go invisible, and then, like, try and get away and... Over okay, get some tap opportunity. Yep. With disadvantage, I Nope. Why? You'll see him. That's not cool. Apparently. Not that it made much of a difference, okay, apparently. Yeah. Okay, it strikes you in the back and you kind of. <laughs> and Ileana goes. Nah! And screams out as uh, you fall down. And you notice that. Uh, Ali Aiden and Tumble can see it, but on the back of Vagor, you see the tentacles begin wrapping around his spine and then begin to, like, unfurl around him. Uh, Dolaf, can I have a death saving throw, please? Of course you may. Yeah, you pass. I should have that to whisper. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Tum Tumble, you'll go. Okay, I'm gonna run, front flip over the lava, mm -hmm. land... Like here. Yep. I'm gonna use my fast hands to give a potion of. Mmm. Potion of. Let's go with potion of. Well, I've got greater or normal. What would you like? <laughs> I want. <laughs> <laughs> Let me consider this for a moment. I'll give him the potion of greater. Make a difference. It's, it's gonna go in one hit anyway. I know, so potentially. No Screw it. I'm gonna give him the, uh, the potion of greater healing. So, um, if you could do the honors and roll that for me anyway. Oh, certainly I will. Uh... <coughs> okay, so, Dolaf, you come to um, consciousness at 12. And you realize, uh, Dolaf, the moment you wake up, that something is attached to you and you can feel the burn over your face. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, that's technically... Let me just check fast hands real quick. Uh, it's a bonus action, right? Yep. yep. So I've still got my action. Um, you need an... don't know if we can take you this need thing. Crit boy. I do. I'm going to turn around and be like, Come on! We fight this thing to the death! Or it's the death of us! Just strike again with my short sword of yeah. lightning. As I hit, and yeah. give him that dastardly foray for an extra fuck sake, the ones uh, seven. So yeah, yeah an extra seven. So in total, uh, twenty-one yep. points of damage. Yep. Uh, so you strike out, and as you do, you this Iliana's uh, half void-like body lets out a scream, uh, and you see one of her arms just goes <laughs> and slops off, hits the ground, and begins moving. Away it begins moving. Like... Yeah. Stamp on it before yeah. he gets anywhere. Okay. Or kick it to <laughs> like the lava. thing. You're like, Ugh! okay. It... Kick it Is there anything lava. else? Um, free. That's it. Okay. Current action, action. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the voidling itself forms into a perfect sphere with Iliana's body hanging limply out. Let's out another scream and then just flies up into the air and then begins to dash away. And then Colka's like, don't let it get out into the real world! Uh, can I use my bonus action? Uh, sorry, reaction to... Uh, I will, I will let, uh, Dolaf, Tumble, and Ali Edin get a reaction if they've got a melee weapon. Uh, yeah. I do. I mean, I don't think this thing could be grappled, so I'll just keep striking at it. 
Uh, one. Wow. Double one. Wow. Love it. <laughs> oh Double my god! Oh my Just proper shank it! Okay, you just roll damage then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and it turns after doing its movement um, and then flings a necrotic bolt at Tumble. Ah! I swear though, casters with daggers are dangerous, man. Did I hit? <laughs> As I hit. You take 25 necrotic damage, it smacks into your chest. Oh, <laughs> no, my uncanny dodge this as well. <laughs> yeah, you can. Otherwise I'd be dead. Um, so I take... 25 necrotic damage. No, half of... Is that half of 25 will be... You roll down or up in this game? Uh, round down. I'll be nice. Okay. Uh, it, cool. That's think, that's yeah. his action, but as it does that, a withheld action... <laughs> a withheld action comes... F the light yeah! <laughs> yes! Get him, Mr. Dribbles! <laughs> Mr. Dribbles! He comes flying out of the water and tries to attack it. Flippin' yes. <laughs> They it hits with all of them! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> come on, Mr. Dribbles. Fucking don't, yeah. don't come on, Mr. Dribbles, that sounds Oh, funny. oh! <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Can I please have some negative inspiration for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh... Ali Aiden, it's your go. You see that Mr. Dribbles has leapt out of the water and just grabbed hold of it, began dragging it to the water, and is thrashing around like crazy. Have you all gone soft? Even the curious troll has landed a hit, and I'll, I'll literally leap up onto the edge of the boat and kind of perch myself on mm. the edge, like kind of one leg up, um, <laughs> and I will blast him good. Um, and I'll also use Tides of Chaos as well to get a fresh piece of garbage. Okay, what are you blasting him with? Scorching so, rays 19, or... 9, and 10. So, do you get to use. Can I ask if you can use Tides of Chaos reactively? I would say yes. So, the two two of them hit. Yeah. I thought yeah. you could. Um, Ali Aiden, how would you, how would you like to do this? Oh my god. Amazing. Good <laughs> way. Um, okay, so he's blasted him again. He's literally an, uh, peppered him with a thing. Uh, Mr. Dribbles has kind of stood there and watched as it kind of floats down to the water. Um, he kind of looks around with his stern looks. Obviously, he's just admonished everyone. He's kind of like surveys the scene. S suddenly looks at Dolaf's face and goes, You look like a bowl of cornflakes! Fitting. <laughs> so fitting. Okay, so the moment the, the Voidling dies and these <laughs> Scorching Rays sear away the Void, Ileana, naked, as the day she was born, slops into the water, splash, and you see Mr. Dribbles goes, Oh my god, a naked lady! And he just swims away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Something I feel Mr. Dribbles has never seen before. <laughs> 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 and Kalka's immediately like, get her out of there! Get her out! And Mr. Dribbles is like, oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to deal with the uh, Cthulhu face. Yeah, okay, yeah. We First of all, um, Dolaf, you need to make a constitution saving throw, and the same goes for Ve uh, Vagor. Actually, fuck, Vagor needs to make some... Death saves. I, I hope someone's going to help me. Yeah. Well. Oh, I yeah. will do that as soon as I've got the void shit off my face. Which okay. is probably not going to happen. Uh, you fall to your knees, you're currently blinded um, as it covers your entire face and your eyes, and you begin to see the depths of in, in, like depths of your sanity as these screams begin to fill into your ears. You, everyone sees Dolaf then just faint. Yes, yes, join me, cousin. Join me now. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait! Is this oh, on you're going face, for Vagor, right? right? I mean, Vagor's got it all on his back. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get Worse messed up than Dolaf at this point. So yeah, I'll quickly administer a healing mm -hmm. potion to him. Okay. But with my fast mm -hmm. hands. Can I use my action to try and help get the shit yeah, off so his face? Yes, he can get advantage on his con save. No, uh, I was going to say... No, Dolaf's already failed his save. I mean... 
Yeah, yeah, I'm helping. I'm helping. Yeah, okay, Vagor so here. Vagor gets like a advantage on his con save. All right, let me roll some. Nineteen. Death. Nineteen. Nice. Yes, with nineteen, you manage to leap up, immediately discard your cloak that it was ripped, like was clinging to, throw it to the ground, push against the wall, and then just slide across. And as you turn, you see you've managed to smear all this gloop across the wall. Ugh. I quickly dive into the water yeah. to get Okay, so uh, also you notice that Mr. Dripples has caught Iliana's limp body and is raising up and he goes, Oh, I just think I touched a nipple! And he just comes <laughs> swimming over to the shore with him. Mr. Dribbles, hold on! Just wait! Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Is oh god! Is Dolaf still got this? Uh, yeah, and him? it's beginning to encircle his entire body apart from his legs. So you guys, no, no, no. Kolka no. runs over as well. Um, he goes, stand back! I've got this. I'll still love you when you're batshit mad. And then he brings his hands <laughs> up, and you see a dispel magic whirl around Dolaf, and it does nothing. He goes, I swear that worked before. One moment. Did it? Did it? Did it really? Everyone, and he draws his dagger and he goes, begin cutting. And he dies. <laughs> and he dives in and begins. Like, yeah, he's, he's just slopping bits off as it's growing. I need your help. Okay. I'll quickly with uh, pull out my small dagger and with precision skill, I shall slice it away without cutting his face up mm -hmm. too much. Um, uh, I need you to make a sleight of hand check. Oh, okay. Slighty. Sleight of hand. Uh, uh, whoa. Oh, he's gonna be the Joker. Oh god. Gonna <laughs> so use the theme. Oh, Would you like to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> like okay, so um, can you roll a d? Can you roll a d a hundred? Uh, Olaf. I certainly can. <laughs> Doing our best here. Mm -hmm. You get another try in a minute. This is. This is the permanent injuries tables by fuck up by other players. <laughs> <laughs> Especially oh, well, that table. <laughs> okay, so once again, you have this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, not only do you have vampirism, but you have this. <laughs> it's normally only the dread games where I become the bad guy. <laughs> Give me yeah. a break. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, son. Shit, shit, I forgot about the nose. Oops. Because I'm missing part of my own, you know? It's a trunk. Yeah, well, it's less of a trunk you than it was before. You are obsessed with it. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Interestingly, okay. before I got to the bottom, that was what I was yeah. thinking. Okay, so, Tumble, you can make another slight hand track with advantage because you've got Kolka helping you. Okay, okay. Please tell me his new obsession is something like Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something like that. It'd be amazing. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, is there a scalpel among my uh, Thieves tools yes. I could use? Okay, I'm going to use the Thieves mm. tools instead to uh, cut them away. Nice. I got, you, got got double crit, you got a crit. So, Kolka and you managed to Sweet. basically sever this <laughs> attachment over his eye, and he nearly... Kolka nearly stabs Dolaf in the eye while trying to remove it, but you, delicate as you are, manage to basically, wearing these big gauntlets you found, just pull it ever so slightly <laughs> off his pupil and then sever it. But, even with a critical, as you sever it, you see a tiny little droplet go in his eye and then disappear under his eyelid. Uh, uh, you, did you see Kolka that? Kolka goes, looks at you and goes, I saw nothing. We did perfectly fine. A bit... Oh, yeah, Can you totally. make wisdom yeah, that's it. it. As he oh brings his God, hand in front of him. Oh <laughs> <laughs> What's a, what a bastard. I do have advantage yeah. on this being a no. No, so I got you just know. You did well. Nothing happened. Okay, yeah, yeah good job. Did. Yeah. And he looks up at Ali Aiden and goes, My love! And then wraps his arms around Ali Aiden as he... As Dolaf, you do actually kind of blink and then wake up. It's right, been too long. To see if I notice. You can make a perception check. Okay, so what you do notice is you didn't see the whole droplet thing, but you did see Conker <laughs> cast as oh yeah on awesome. on tumble to make him forget the last minute or so. <laughs> yeah, good job, right, everyone. Uh, okay, yeah, Ileana's now laid out in front of you, by the way. Um, and Mr. Dribbles go at least put some cloth on her, cover a decency, Christ. Okay, all right. Uh, actually, all I've got is net. 
just uh, no, G- Jesus. What, what <laughs> happened? Is it dead? That's what I'm trying. What's to going on? It dead is a. I don't know if it was living to begin with, to be honest, but it is dealt with. Yes. Oh, you st- for one glorious moment, cousin, you stood beside me on a warm, sunny beach, and we nearly embraced. <laughs> Shut up! <Orlando>. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> I believe what he's trying to say is that you are nearly lost to madness as well. Oh, I don't feel mad. That was close then. Hold still for a moment. And, um, <laughs> I, I want to look him over pretty pretty well. And um, yeah, I've got a twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, who are you looking over? Um, Dolaf, yeah. Dolaf. Okay, so um, Dolaf, uh, he's got a little bit of a twitch in one of his eyes, and he seems to have his art hand grasped around the necklace, which he didn't really give much attention to before. Like, Otty Ot- Ot- gave it to her at the wedding, and he's just like, oh, I might as well wear it. It's my my wife gave it to me, you know? You know, like when you wear a bracelet your girlfriend's made, and, you know, you really don't want to wear it, but, mm. you know, you do, because you love her. Like, but he seems absolutely obsessed with it. Like, you notice that every, at this past minute, he's checked it about 20 times. He keeps going. And then looking down at it, making just, sure it's there, etc., etc. Just see your hand, Ola. And I'll, I'll try and like gently like put his hand away to, to check the inside of his hand. Certainly. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, mm. I'll just like pretend to investigate his hand um, while while looking at what else his face mm. is doing. He looks. Yeah. And then, and then just like lean in with my face directly in front of his, just just real close, and just like. Hold his eye open for a second to see if it stops. Uh, slightly. I mean, you do notice they're rather, one of them's rather bloodshot. Yes, well, some arrest at least. Uh, we'll need to check this again in a few days to see if it's gotten better. Don't worry, I got it. It, My expert skills. Cut away the thing. Oh yes, he's quite the surgeon. It's probably just a bit of a bruising. Um, Thank you, Tumble. Yes, probably. Thank you, very well. No worries. We almost all went down in that fight. Plus, uh, Mr. Dribbles finds heterochromia quite attractive. <laughs> uh, hi again, Mr. Dribbles. Uh, sorry about earlier, I didn't know if you were still a friend or foe, but uh, thanks for the assist back there. <coughs> okay, so... um, I can't help but notice Ileana is on the floor. Yes. Yeah, that's the next thing I was gonna do. I was gonna check over the and see if there's if it's just a body, if it's still something. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Twenty-two is quite high, but let's see if you can do the same thing here. Uh, You've never oh, seen these injuries cold. before, but she looks pale, but she's breathing. You can tell that she's alive, um, and grasped in her hand, she didn't even let go of it as she fell in. What was that same spear that she had stabbed Tumble with? Ugh. It got my right, blood on it. <laughs> Clear of whatever void magic seems to be holding her, but I'm not. Sh- can't say anything about her mind. She might still be as she was. Yeah, I'm gonna bet money on it. She isn't. Isn't as she was before. In what sense? Well, I mean, look at our leading and goddamn Morish. Well. Yes. So. That, yes. It's okay, a. It's- well, the point is, she might still try and murder us, so unethical as this might sound, I suggest that we... Manacles. ...and dress her up to give her some sense of modesty in case she is... Uh-huh. ...in her senses somehow. Fine. I bring out the manacles uh-huh. and... Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. As you do, around. you can actually just take the spear away from her grasp. No, yeah, it's a bit of a yeah. peeling thing where you're like... Ugh, ugh, ...trying to get her fingers away, but... And then you notice that this spear is... Very decorative uh, runes traveling all up it to a ivory tip. And you see, as you look closer, it looks like to be made out of some sort of bones or fangs. Hmm. Could could I have that? You don't wield I spears, I mean. I don't think so, Alvin. Best not to give you anything. <laughs> no. No, firstly, you, you can't place a label on me. And secondly, I do believe it's my time. I had some fair share of loot. Um, I mean, have you even looked in there yet? Look at that massive machine thing. I point well, into why, the room. Why don't you have the oh. boats? Oh, I'll go in there. And yes, oh, you're always so generous. 
Okay, mm. so Ali Hayden, inside this room, you notice there's uh, a platform that leads up to a throne and a huge machine that you know your master uses to enter the void. There's that, and there's a throne, and um, uh, is it okay if I call this boat the Mary Celeste? If, uh, Colgan <laughs> says, of course it is, my apprentice. Call it whatever you want. Oh. I'm going to quickly look at the um, spear and give it an, an arcana check. Yeah. It's gonna, you're going to have to get really good. Yeah, well, I'm good at that now. <laughs> okay, so uh, it looks to be some sort of legendary spear. The tail up its um, shaft tells of all of Odin's victories. Shit. I think this uh, is a pretty With that arcana ring. check, you notice that the runes themselves are corrupted with void. They, they glitter like in a black kind of slimy colour when you look them up. Oh, no. It can um, be purified, maybe? Perhaps. I'm looking at the spear that I'm holding. I'm looking yeah. At, uh, it looks corrupted. Mass, like, how corrupted exactly? Use mm. one corrupted, perhaps? Maybe Mern could have a look at it, or if someone else has a way to remove curses, I don't know. It definitely looks well, bad, though, at the moment. I could perhaps try cleansing it, I'm not sure if I could manage, but I could give it a try. By all means. Okay. Uh, we'll, let, let, let's do this when we are back somewhere safe. Yes, <laughs> could we perhaps return our attention to Iliana? Kalka says, yes, and I cannot leave the mansion, and it's beyond my capacity to help further than this. But trust me, this is Iliana. Yes, I have no doubt in that. I have doubt in whether we'll make it back alive, so allow me the moment, and I'll grab some poultices and start wrapping people okay. up Okay, he says, well, I can take you straight to the door. So, in order from left to right... Uh... Inspire first roll is yours for nine, five for me. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Todd. Our lane gets <laughs> uh, <laughs> that. gets four. Oh, geez, phenomenal. <clears throat> ah, what are we bad. going to do with her? We need to wake her up. Take a well, I'm not sure if we need to. We can take her with us, bring her to the keep. Is that wise? I mean, I'm still so unsure. I've heard such conflicting things about who this woman is. Mm. Same. I'm not sure what to believe yet. Exactly. On one side, we bring her back and it's the ruination of us all. Or on the other side, she's a force for good. And what would you suggest leaving her here would achieve? Until she wakes up, then we can talk to her. I think if we're going to wake her, it should be here rather than back in the realm. Are you sure that this entire place seems somehow affected by the surrounding void energy? It kind of acts like a prison, though. So if she does, like, lash out... Kalka here can help us trap it again. I can, I can help trap things from the void. I can fight the void. I just can't, I just can't get involved with the matters on your planet. It's against my mm -hmm. council's advisory. So, I can, however, if you want to visit me here, aid in the matters of knowledge and intelligence and, and research. And my paper, my paper Good. drakes, which you might have met, might be able to help you. Good, because I got some questions about beholders. Oh well. Hasn't everyone got questions about beholders? Like, how many eyes do they have? How many hairs on their scalp? Oh, how do they mate? How many penises? I know, Ali Aiden. They have like oh. 10. 20? 10 is 10 a number? No. Now, Mr. Dri Mr. Dribbles would have quite the party. <laughs> he looks at Mr. Dribbles, Dribbles and goes, <laughs> Ha that's hilarious. And Dribbles goes, They always take the pee out of me. It just sinks below the water. <laughs> that was first his country. <laughs> Piss off back where you came, you queer, queer troll. Ali Aiden, Ali Aiden, your master says, Now! No bullying! What have I told you about bullying everything in the house? That's the reason why half of the mounted heads don't want to talk to you. Yes, be nice to the heads, and play fair with the table, and never, never take David's shoes, I yes. know. And then David <laughs> pokes his head up. 
right? And he pokes him back down. Fucking suck up. <laughs> oh, you do crack me up, Todd. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the plan, guys? Uh, Let's bring. Uh, can we lift up the body of Ileana? I'll just bring her in here, please, uh-huh. back into our cage. Okay, you guys carry a body back into the what looks like a makeshift throne room for Kolka. Mm. Uh, there is a large kind of portal gate on the other side of the room that um, you can see is currently deactivated. There's nothing in the mid center of it. I'm going to get out my water skin, probably a few towel attempt it, hey. <laughs> and uh, just going to splash some water onto her face. Nothing. Hmm. <sighs> Come on, wake up! Potion of some kind. Well, she's already had some healing, hasn't she? From the poultice. No, I didn't heal her, I just healed the four of us. Uh, I only have okay. four. She's breathing, though. Hmm. Are you able to do that again for her? I could, but I'd have to find some herbs first. If I go into the garden, perhaps I'll find some. Okay, we'll, we'll keep an eye might, on her while you do. Might be a while though, and not in a very good state. I'm not sure if any of the candles might turn. <laughs> no, those things, yeah. Uh, Alright, well... Do you not have any more potions or anything? I do. I just... Then use them. Fine. These are expensive though, you know? Alright, I'll use a potion of healing. I'll, I'll give her like a portion of it, see if it's actually taking effect first. Okay, so it definitely seems like it's healing some of the wounds on her body from being a voidling for 16 years, but yeah. Mm, okay, so it is working. Alright, then I'll let her drink the whole okay. thing. She doesn't wake up. Yep, I was afraid of that. Well, that was a waste. Let's throw the bottle away. <laughs> Not a waste, because we have now eliminated the possibility. I got something else I could try, but she's already alive, so I don't think a revivify is going to do much. Do you want to give it a go? I suppose it's worth a shot. You can tell that okay. it would have no effect. She's she's alive. She's alive, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's like I really want to explain. Master Kalka, you must yes. have some knowledge yes. about this. Yes, so I do it? believe what's happened is when mortals spend too long inside the void, uh, well, uh, let's just say they turn into what you saw, a voidling, and uh, they do whatever the best they can to get back to their original plane of origin, Whereupon they wreak chaos among the populace, and when they infect another, they spawn another voidling, like what was happening to your face. And then it's just a chain reaction until the planet turns into a black hole. Okay, but why is she waking up? How do we wake her? How do I know? In all matters of healing, I am shit. But when it comes to blasting a hole in a wall, or a library of knowledge, I am your man. Maybe if she takes some damage, she'll wake up. Well, uh, he looks at her and goes, Why would you want to hurt that delicate porcelain skin? She hasn't done anything to you. I mean, I was her friend. So it was Ali Aiden. It's Perhaps just time then, and we wait for a while. Okay, he, he, will, he will take a moment to take a look at her. Uh, just to try and help you. Well, well, well. <laughs> well he he leans down, me. checks her pulse, stands up, folds his arms. David pops out the cloak and he goes, what do you think, David? David goes, Ribbit, Ali Aiden, I'm assuming, laughs. <laughs> Full of shit, that's all. He, he, puts <laughs> it, he goes, of course, she is infected with the void. It is in her brain. She's currently in a coma. The only thing that will probably bring her back is a greater restoration spell or possibly a wish. Wow. Wow. How many books did you have to read to get 
<laughs> Ali Edin, you seem to be stuttering. What did I tell you about stuttering? Mm, don't mumble, don't stutter, and don't look David in the eye because he doesn't like yes, it. Yes, David doesn't like being looked in the eye. Remember, he's like a poodle. You look him in the eye and he bites you in the throat. I know, I know. And I only ever feed him pedigree chum on Wednesdays because it makes him gassy, yes. I know. He's got IBS, remember. Okay, so he goes, yes, so greater restoration or a wish spell? Or perhaps yeah, taking yeah. her okay. to the standing stones in the wildlands might help. Wish, uh, wish, uh, uh, I wish, uh, I. Excuse me, Ali, I didn't. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. You, you don't know the wish spell, let's be honest. Uh, no, I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is beyond our capabilities, then. For now, we'll have to hold her body around. Uh, Kalka says, well, I can take you straight back to the entrance instantly. Uh, that would be appreciated. Don't want to have to cross paths with Mr. Dribbles. But first, this machine here. Yes. What about... This is off? Oh yes, it's off, this it's off, off. It's off. That's what she came through. Uh-huh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so she, she came through that. I realised I was a little bit under the weather and was unable to defeat her, so I just locked her in and then requested help. But you took, like, seven years to arrive. Hmm, and you didn't get to even sit on your throne and wait. Oh no, I was standing there, day and night, slaving away on the ward, to make sure that... Where'd the lava come from? The what? The lava. Where'd that oh, come that's from? wild magic. Uh, occasionally, when I am expending too much energy, it happens. Lava spawns, my hair turns white, I grow a beard of feathers, you know. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yes, um, of course, day things. Mm -hmm. Shall we return to the realm in a slight semblance of normality then? Yeah, so please. Are we with us, then? It seems to be the only way we have for now. I trust Bigby's um, diagnose. diagnosis. Diagnosis? <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. That one. Then, Master Bigby, if you would take us to the entrance, please. And within a moment, space and reality around you begins to warp, and you are back at the entrance of... Right in front of you, there's the, just the legs of the T-Rex still there. And he looks at you and goes, What did you do to Bob? Why is he only legs? Uh, oh, dude, like to come out, please. Excuse me. Uh, by the way, everyone's lagging. Yeah, the call's lagging. Yes, it is, it lagging. is lagging quite badly. I'm just going to try. Okay. Oh, looks like I got disconnected. Yeah, it's... yeah you're fine now. That was that was strange. <laughs> Hello. Wild magic again, I'm assuming. I'm going to assume too as well. That was weird. Apologize for people watching, but uh, anyway. That was a side effect of the uh, teleportation, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Okay, so as you guys reach the portal, you see that uh, the mirror that leads out is ominously dark. <coughs> yeah, so I'm just shouting, Artie, we'd like to come out now, please. Um, She's probably covered it with her giant frame. Okay, so basically what you're seeing is uh, a dark room. She has managed to lift the mirror back up, but um, she hasn't like locked you here, for example. You can leave, it's just that the, your room is dark. It's obviously not in it. Then I will step into the other world. Yeah. So I'm just sorting out your uh, portraits, apparently Chris is Dola. Uh... <laughs> Yep, and as you step into your room, you realise it's quite dark, and you can hear some chatting downstairs. Voices you have never really heard in the house before. It didn't take her long to move on, did it, though, Leth? Oh my god. <laughs> While I'm still in the mansion with Kolka, I want to ask yeah. him. Uh, uh, Master Bigby, if I could ask, it seems that you're... Well, I had quite a nice time relaxing with... One of your oh, Petrolia. Your water elemental. Yes, and she seemed to be rather well disturbed at the lack of interaction. 
Would you perhaps allow us to borrow her for a while? Would that work? Of course, he reaches into his pocket, realises, one moment, disappears inside the house, comes out and he gives you a gemstone. Ah, oh, very well. Do you want something in return? Oh, or... well, n no. Of it's fine. No, um, just make sure you look okay. after her. Um, I I've had her for a while. Um, and he gives you uh, an emerald. And as you hold it, you can feel the water energy surging inside. You have an elemental gem. You can con you can conjure her once, as per the conjure elemental spell. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to turn one down. I I can hear the music coming back. That would be Todd. It's not. To be fair, I can hear it too. Okay. Well, there's only one person that has speakers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, as you walk into the bedroom, like I said, you can hear this voice down below and some chatting. Um, you hear the rushing around of servants. Yeah, head down and see what's going okay, on. Okay, are we all going? Yeah. Once I get the gem, I will go. And I will, I'll thank uh, Bigby for the Bigby goes, that's okay. Just... Uh... Have fun and make sure you save the world. Yes, no pressure. Um, no pressure <laughs> I'll be back. Need to talk about them beholders. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sure. Okay. So um, you all head downstairs to you walk past the kitchen, where you see the servants are preparing. They look rather stressed. Mappus. Excuse me. Mappus. Okay. Yeah. I. I thought I had. That was my bad. Ah, uh, home sweet home. <sighs> right, so we're heading to the kitchen, you say? Apparently, yes. <laughs> How long has it been? Uh, Are it? Well, judging by the time that Kolka mentioned, probably seconds to minutes. Or years? Ori, how long were we, how long were uh, we in there? not in the kitchen, it's just a servant girl um, who's rushing, preparing quite a lot of food. I would go out and to the dining room and talk okay, to Okay, so her. you all head to the dining room? Yeah. Okay, yes. so what you see is you walk through the door into the dining room is you've got guests lord dolaf otty is standing by your <coughs> by your chairs um she's looking rather worried and she sees you as she sees you approach there's a relief on her face and all of you storm in you look worse for wares you you've been in fights you've got scrapes and bruises and there is a first thing you see is a halfling and vagor's eyes lock straight onto her she has an axe on her back. Her face is tattooed with tons of tribal tattoos. Blue, reds, greys. She even has the symbol of Hela scarified down her neck. And she stares straight at Vagor, and her eyes go wide as, she, as you both recognise each other. Vagor, sitting beside Sigmund, the guy that slaved you, is Helga, the girl that tricked you. Beside him is a taller human with a blonde beard, plait, big axe in his hands, uh, resting on the table. And Sigmund stands and goes, Well, 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 my lord Dolaf. And Otty kind of like is looking at you, Dolaf, with a look of worry. And she goes, they, they arrived literally seconds after you went from the mirror. I had no chance. Okay, Otty, don't worry. Okay. Tab 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 shut up, are you? Uh, does anyone have any popcorn? <laughs> I don't believe we've met you. No, I don't believe we have, but... I have heard of you, Lord Dolaf. I've heard what you're doing here in the south of Boynland. Uh, do you let me introduce? Uh, this here is Randall, and this here is Helga. Now, they're my personal bodyguards, and I thought it only appropriate that I bring the minimum amount of muscle when it comes to do a diplomatic mission. You catch me? Oh, yes, that that's huge. Shut up, Al Yadon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do have a picture of Sigmund somewhere. 
I believe you guys can see him. Yep. Mm. And then... Is it that? Uh, yeah, he's got grey hair now, but in Vagal's vision, he had black hair, because it was a while ago. Yeah. Did that name ring a bell yeah. to you? Oh. Uh, you realise that, of course, you've all heard that he's the one that's been buying slaves from the south. He's the one who's been importing weapons. He's work He works for Iliana, and he's the one who came through the Underdark and came up into Vineland and has been conquering it. But you didn't, Dolaf, you did not expect him to arrive within weeks of you hearing about him. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guards walk up behind you and say, he's only got minimum escort. 20 men, most. Okay. And Sigmund, uh, like, places his hands on the table and goes, But what am I... I don't mean to interrupt. I mean, we can feast and talk at the same time. I mean, your wife's been uh, pleasurable enough company, and she's been good enough to feast me and my friends here and give us enough meat and ale to keep us satisfied while we wait for you on your uh, on your holiday or whatever. How As long? Host words. Now, what brings you here? What brings me here is diplomacy, alliance, friendships, combining the might of both of our families. <laughs> Go on, At then. this point, like, Vagor tries to make some eye contact with Dola. Okay, well, can you, uh, oh, one moment, I'm going to see if he recognises you. Yeah, uh, he clocks eyes with you for a moment, briefly, Vega, and Sigmund goes, uh, and then there's recognition on his face, and then he just blanks you, like, as if, fuck, I don't want to get into an argument in the middle of a diplomatic meeting, or don't want to fight, he's here to be the diplomatic, and he sees you, he knows who you are, you're that one fur bog that managed to ambush him, have a knife to his throat, and then you left him alive. It's embarrassment, it's a shame, and it's a mix of all kinds of emotions on his face, and he goes, uh, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I'm here to combine the might of our two armies because, uh, let me put it simple. I'm assuming you haven't dragged Ileana in here. You've left her in your bedroom or something. No. Yeah, he goes, let's be honest, uh, Ileana is, uh, <clears throat> a better words, for lack of better words, a fucking cunt. Right. And I wish to kill her. You catch my meaning. We got some sort of, uh, you know, I've managed to conquer most of Bindland already uh, while you've sat in your little fortress. So, uh. Do not your... your place, Sigmund. He, like, wipes away the ale from his mouth and goes, You better shut your puppy up, Dolaf. He's gonna ruin everything. Oh, he's a puppy! <laughs> Wiley, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Helga at that goes, <laughs> he's funny. And the um, other one just goes, huh. Our lead and genuinely jumps, goes, holy shit, that hamster can talk. Uh, who are you were directing that at? The halfling. She the stands, halfling. and as she stands, there is this, like, kind of figure of power about her. She has a massive battle axe on her back that she draws and you see all the guards in the room draw bows and she i'll stand up at that yeah. point you were here for diplomacy you say helga you failed to protect your master once while i was in his presence you might have fooled me once but you're not fooling anyone now holy she shit she doesn't recognize you by the way she just goes whatever sits back down drinks would you swap an elephant for a hamster? What? I'm at least worth five hamsters. Can Not we that. have some sensible discussion here, please? Dolath, if you allow a moment, please. Go ahead, Vigor. And I'll just lean into Dolath and um, tell him a little bit about, about Sigmund and, uh, and Helga. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, yeah, you heard the story from in the prison, right? So. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know that they're not the nicest of folk, but they are powerful folk. I did have a vision where he would help you, however. If this turns out to be a false vision, please allow me to be the one to snap his neck in two. 
I would have no qualms with that. Well. And then holding back. Ah, uh, do we have a deal here? Are we friendly? Can I sit down and eat? Or are you going to kick me out the front door? Well, we have no deal at the moment. You haven't presented any terms to Well, me. I was about to before you're... I'm not going to be offensive. Let bygones be bygones. Let's speak then. All right. He sits... Eat, drink, speak. Okay, so you all sit down for dinner. Um, Helgar and this uh, Randall guy seem to be very quiet as uh, Sigmund just seems to spout a lot of nonsense, random stories occasionally. And then he goes, right, let's get down to business. So, uh, you see, I was one of Ileana's most trusted generals. I mean, I led the attack against Lorinthia myself when one of your sisters fell. And, uh, I mean, it's quite a trophy. And he gauges your reaction at that. You're not exactly endearing yourself. Well, I didn't come to endear. What I came was to offer. And in turn, I want you to help. I mean, I have maps. I have details. I am the one that traversed the Underdark, made the deals with the Cabal Ketek. So, uh... Who, who are the Cabal Ketek? Uh, of course, Tumble. You do know that that's the three beholders, the trio of beholders that rule the Underdark. Mm. So he goes, it's a free um, a trio of beholders that uh, rule the Underdark with an iron fist, you see. Well, they're more scared of Iliana than they are of each other, so they decided to bound together and win some sort of uneasy alliance. They've managed to, en managed to enslave most of the, the folk down there, but they also let Iliana's men pass through. Now, I've got 3,000 loyal men. 500 of them are house cars. You understand, yeah? Trained, loyal men. Straight from Nordrak. They're loyal to me. The rest are folk from the country that you want to rule. They're bindish. People that joined me when I inspired them. I mean, fear is inspiration, but so is power. And I got both of it. So you offer us maps, your men... What do you wish for in return? The death of Iliana, eventually. I mean, it's going to be a long campaign, of course. She still has a massive army. And she has that witch doctor of hers. You can see the future and shit. Now, that guy also needs to be taken down. And in about three or four months, I have reliable news that he may be moving to Angai's mansion. And if we catch him unawares, we can finally kill that fuck. He's, he goes by the name of Tang. He's mystical in nature. I can't even begin to explain what he can do. Very well. Tubble begins scribbling something down mm. on a piece of parchment. Uh, I'm really sorry to interject, uh, if I may. Uh, so we're going to launch a really quite expensive endeavour all to go after a glove puppet. What? A what? A glove puppet. A glove puppet, yes. Explain yourself. Well, I don't no, know. I want to hear this. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, like that thing on your on the end of your arm, fleshy, looks like a spider. A hand. That's it. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, sometimes you can find pieces of cloth that are shaped like the fleshy spiders, and you can put them inside the fleshy cloth. Now, you uh, are proposing... Uh, and I hope you're following me here. I'm sure Tantor's taking the minutes for the meeting. Um, that we are going after a glove puppet. I warned you. You did. Um... Uh, I'm going to... I think I understand what he means, but uh, I'm going to roll an intelligence <laughs> check. <to see> can... <laughs> yeah. Ah, really? yeah. Okay, so it's like... <clears throat> it's just an underling, right? We're not going for the real head of the snake, the real beast itself. We're just, we're just tackling one of his many. Uh, no, no, um, the woman, the glove puppet woman. What? You know, the the, the naked woman on the shore is the glove puppet. What, he, he, no, he goes, what not, naked woman? What are you talking about? She's not a puppet. She's, she's free from that corruption. Free of the mind. Well, I can tell that, she... but now I'm curious. Uh... The woman on the shore, she was naked. Shut up, Arliaden. He's a glove puppet. 
Everything he says makes no sense. I kind of... But I have your terms. You'll, of course, give us time to consider. And he nods and he stands and he goes, and as an ex-Red Rider, I have valuable information you can use. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand what you bring to this bargain. Look, like you said, we're not chopping the head off the snake, but what we are doing is clipping the wings of the dragon. Understand, yeah? I understand. I will consider. We come from Nordrak. Power is everything. You clip her wings, she can't fly. People see opportunity. There's only a. Yeah, only give it time before there'll be daggers in the da- dark. If you know what I mean. I mean, it's it only took, took me to get a little bit of power. Look at me. I'm already rebelling. They know I fucking something. Surely you are. <laughs> and I think it's ludicrous. He nods and goes, Well, uh, my camp is. Uh, a hundred miles north from here. Uh, I won't move any further south into your territory. While our alliance holds, of course. Naturally. So, uh, think on it. Uh, I can deliver the information whenever you need it. Especially the maps to the Underdark. The specific ones. Then, feast, drink. Then I will ask you to leave while we consider. Fair play. Nods. And you see that Helga... Uh, can you make a perception check, actually, all of you? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're so good. <laughs> hey, thankfully. No. Uh, Helga yeah. smiles as she leaves. They all leave that night, um, leaving you to consider. It's That's only... So- uh, Surely my perception's good. Uh, no, no. If you want to rewatch the video yeah. later on, you can see her roll. I GM rolled it. Oh, that. Uh, anyway, so oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> About three hours after they leave, Otti Otti finds you done. I think goes. Um, I think that halfling stole like literally everything from the table. How? I'm entirely surprised. I mean. Like, and as you walk out, you see her entire area is just blank. She's stolen the plate, the knife, the fork, the horn. She's also stolen, somehow, she managed to steal a crate of ale from inside the kitchen. And also, one of the turkeys is missing. Fucking hell. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. You're a hamster. (laughs) Okay, so um, I'm going to ask, before we end the session, ask what everyone's doing. I am asking everyone to join me in the war room to discuss Okay, everyone this. joins you. Yeah. Where's the war room again? Yeah. It's to the e- south. Even me? That's where the maps are. You can linger in the doorway, old Yaden. <laughs> yeah, Felosia was totally on guard for that entire meal, by the way, just standing there with her greatsword unsheathed, <laughs> leaning on it. Yeah, I would have been gritting my teeth and I was scribbling something down on a piece of paper which I slid to Lord Aaron's bar. Yeah, I got that. Mm. Now, I was playing croquet with a flamingo. Vago, Tumble, you seem to know these people. Man, stand up right, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the time to be laying down on the job. That's <coughs> All right. Yes, I do know these people. They're the ones responsible. They worked with the Beholder. They're it's the ones who invaded my town. All they spoke of. Yeah, it's a trio. They're like kingpins of the Underdark. <sighs> no. I know of their names now as well. Ileana told me in this vision. She showed me everything. They've, they've rallied together. And they're... Kimmel! Uh, Kimmel! Yes, sir? There is a lady in my bedroom. Uh, Please see that she does not leave. Uh, Take a few guards. Of course, sir. I will. And he, he goes, I will. Um, okay. And disappears. He goes, just so you know, um, before you left for your adventure, um, me and the guards managed to round up about 25 rats. Yes, fine. I'll deal okay, with that I, later. You said it was important. That's the only reason why I thought I'd let you know. It's fine. Okay, cool. And that wanders off. And then one of the guards goes, Why did he need so many rats anyway? Tom, so, yeah. let's continue. 
These beholders have an army of Durgar and Drow at their disposal. They've been taking over the entire Underdark. I thought they were working for Ileana, but, well, I think we all know the real one behind this now. Did you all see the same vision? What Morash pulled out from the void? I did not experience a vision of Morash, no. Uh, well, I was ex it was explained to me that Morash didn't pull Ileana back out. It was something else. I was also given similar information, but it's not the vision that I witnessed. Well, whatever it is, it's maybe either a simulacrum of Ileana or something else entirely just pretending to be her. Can't say for certain. Oh, by the way, that is probably news. Yeah, uh, you're very quiet. Um, it's probably new news to Vague all that, by the way, because he didn't even get that vision. <laughs> okay. Well, dun dun dun. Same yeah. Farley Aiden. Yes. Well, provided that is true, it is good to know at least that there is some reason to believe that the Eliana we brought back is the actual Eliana. This was somewhat of a paradox having two of them in the world. Yeah. From yes. Lines. Now my rage my concern to bring her back. I do feel that. I must tell you something about these people and my past with them, and Please what, do. I, what I witnessed. Uh, this <clears throat> hamster, as my lady puts it, she <clears throat> has some powers of enchantment. She tricked me, and I was imprisoned by Sigmund for a very long time. The only reason I managed to escape is because someone well, someone freed me, and I proved to Sigmund that I should not be trifled with. I snuck upon him, hold him at knife's point, and gave him his mercy as I was foretold that he would once upon a time be of great assistance to a Lord Dolath. I had no idea at this time who he was speaking of, but it seemed earnest advice, and he did free me after all. However, seeing what he has become... I do not know if this was the right course of action. I feel like perhaps the world would have been better off had I killed him then. If you had killed him then, my village wouldn't have been perished. Well, from what I understand you're saying, he was a... Well, a general. made a, a pact with some, some people that eventually caused the demise of your village, no? He said he was a general. He worked with these beholders, probably led the army straight into my domain. No, I believe he was saying he was a general of Ileana's, and he made a pact with the Beholders to pass through the Underdark. Do not mistake. The thing is, they, we think that this Ileana, everyone thinks it's the real Ileana. <laughs> so does he. And yes, so... We should let him believe so for now. Okay. We should perhaps use him to try and defeat this creature pretending to be Liana. However, as I said, I'm not sure if we should give him any more power. He seems to be quite obsessed with it. And Correct. I fear that, well, perhaps if he has been as successful as he claims to be, he could overthrow us if we're not very careful. Perhaps yeah. cutting off the head of this particular snake might be the best course of action. Whichever course we take, we must be s sensible and smart about it. Because I don't trust him, as I'm sure the two of you don't either. I no. think he was quite nice. Shut up, Aline. <laughs> Thank you, you also support. think the world is a zoo, Aline, please. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, uh, had a wife, but couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her. Very well. Uh, Peter Peter, pumpkin eater, had another and didn't love her. Peter learned to read and spell, and then he loved her very well. Lucio goes to clap and then goes, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think before we make any decisions, we must speak with this Ileana that is here. Yeah. 
Well, Eden, didn't you get any of your sanity back when, you know, we kind of, we met your master? Mm, and no more than a grain of sand, but distinctly less uh, than a speck of dust. Yeah. So, negligible difference. Do you recall having a vision, Aldi Eden? Oh, yes. And? Would you care to share it with us? Well, well, I just did, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> that was it. The Peter Peter thing was the whole vision. Oh, and the glove puppet. Can you elaborate? Or should we just wait till, like, you know, the other Arlene's in there talks? Well, he does sometimes come out, but you're useless as shit as talking to him. He's quite, um, abrasive. Oh, um, well, I've never met him, so... He normally threatens our lives at the very instance we in offend his power or something. Oh, oh, uh, can we roleplay? I'll try and beat him now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sure, okay. Right. In the oh. past, I have witnessed moments of clarity when Al Yadin has been threatened. Mm -hmm. Sure. So at this time, I'm going to draw my bow oh. and aim about as close as I dare possible to the side of his head. Make a roll to hit. Take that shot. Roll to hit. Oh my god. Yeah, place this apple on your head. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, oh, nice. A lightning arrow goes slicing past you, Ali Aiden. Cuts a gentle line across your face before pinging into the wall. Your vision now. Draw your bow again, bowman. Just the vision. The vision. Ah. 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 She's not what she... And hello again to no. your friends! <laughs> <laughs> I love how Chris has just fallen off of his chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. He's gone, boys. He's gone. <laughs> oh, I thought we had it. God damn it. Perhaps this requires more dire circumstances. Not a real enough threat. <laughs> well, <sighs> let's go. And I just start dragging our lane up the stairs. Okay. <sighs> what are you doing, Vago? Oh, I'm just gonna dangle him off the side of the uh, of one of the like parapets. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so what are you doing, Ali Adam? You fight. Um, just be just before that, can I use some hit dice from the short rest? Yeah, sure, sure. Is <laughs> man assisting in this? It sounds like a man yeah. thing to do. Chuck him to his man and Vagor, the two characters. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I don't want yeah. him to die. I just want him to tell us. No, but uh, I like the way. Yeah, man's distrust and hatred of uh, Ali Adam has just bled through the soul into <laughs> Vagor. Uh, yes. <laughs> In fact, if Mern was the one tempting to threaten him with his with his life, that could be. Oh, Mern, way. Mern would get the information killing him anyway. To be fair. Oh, that's okay. Fair, so, yeah. uh, Vagor, you've, you're dragging Arlie Aiden up to the parapet. To, do you do you, are you doing it obviously, or are you like tricking him? Like, come come up come up here. Oh no, I'm doing it obviously. If he feels threatened before I get there. Okay, so Arlie Aiden, what are you doing? Okay, give me a moment. I'm just assessing. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, shatter the shit out of him. Oh God, can you also wild magic surge? Oh fuck! What do uh, I, I get to click your character wherever he is, and then click the wild magic surge button. Oh yes, of course. Oh he God, is. are you joking? Is it a rogue max? Oh my God! Oh, uh, the nearest sun experience. No. I rolled the max, which is roll three times from the table, take all results. <laughs> oh, so he's yeah. he's so threatened, he just explodes into wild magic. Oh, geez. this is not gonna be. Couldn't fight this shit. I did just click the button, but it says yeah. no table found in that name. Oh, Whilst that happens, I'm gonna make a level attempt to um, ask him the same question. Okay. <laughs> okay. So loads of things happen at once. Okay. So. First of all, Shatter goes off. Can you make a con save? Yeah. Yep. And do the damage accordingly. Suddenly, all of yeah, I, all of Ali Eden's wounds begin to heal, and he basically becomes Wolverine for the next hour. Um, 
Oh and also, uh, oh, yeah, tall. he grows. He grows in height about three inches. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Well, I just keep going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Ali Aiden, um, keep repeating. You get question. full health, by the way. Yeah. And also, basically, every every three six seconds, you gain five hit points. Can I um just very quickly uh use the strength check to try and fly uh, off? Listen to me, you overgrown piece of uh, shit. Both of, you, both of you make athletics checks. <laughs> I'm getting ready with a feather full okay. scroll. <laughs> I don't think we're up there yet. I think we're still going. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Okay, so, uh, I'm afraid that he's a slippery little bastard, he is. As you were dragging <laughs> him to the parapet, you turn round and tumble, you're like, what the fuck? As as they got suddenly <laughs> grabbing you. And you see Ali Aden's used like Wait. jumped down off the parapet and he's leaping down towards one of the walls and disappearing into the kitchen. Yeah, he just switched places. Proper Naruto style. Uh, get get off me! What the hell? Sorry. Where, where did he go? You can see I don't know. I was standing there a minute ago and then Sorry, where are you all at the moment? Are you up, yeah. up the, the stairs? Yeah, we, we went up like... Yeah, up, you're all up, on the parapet and Ali has managed to escape you. Throw tumble in the way and then just keep going. Okay, he goes back down to the yeah, wall. Okay, room. so yeah, he walks back into the wall. And if you if you go back down there, you'll find him fiercely scribbling on a piece of paper. Yeah, we'll find okay, him. Okay, yeah, he's, scri he's scribbling. Scribbling, scribbling. Perhaps we should leave this for another time and focus on Iliana for now. Yes, that was unpleasant. Wap. Ali, then what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I've written you a little story. <laughs> Give me a moment. Got it. There you go. I've already discussed this. Okay. No. Right. Let's and focus on Liliana. Ne and next of it, next of it is a nice uh, a picture of an elephant stood by a stick figure and a tree, <laughs> and they're oh all god. holding hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so um, also who who took the spear? By the way. Vagor, okay, so Vago, make sure you're right. Um, corrupted, yeah, corrupted man. spear, and put in brackets Odin or something, so I know that it's that spear. Uh, <laughs> That's not that's not my mouth. That's not my mouth. Okay, so you all begin to head up towards <laughs> Iliana, correct? Yeah, why well, so? Okay, so and as you open the door into your bedroom to Yeah, yeah with mine. To the uh the the room where the mirror is and the where the room where you put her on your bed, o Otti is <sighs> tending to her wounds. Um he's she's got like cold flannel on her forehead. She's put the quilt over her and she says who, who is she? Apparently she is Iliana. What? N impossible. But not the Iliana we believed to be leading the armies to the north. Okay, you can explain this all to me when we go to bed, but for now let's just tend to a wind. Yes. It's going to take more than that to bring her back. We no. must visit the Standing Stones, apparently. Can moan cast free to rest There's a lot of noise coming through mind, from so. Todd. Let us take right. her to the infirmary. We'll leave her with the guards tonight, get some rest, and then visit the standing stones tomorrow. Okay, well, she... Be... Yes, I can think she goes, do. well, I'll make sure the servants draw us both a bar if you look filthy and hurt, and, and I can deal with patching up some of your wounds. Ah. And... Yes, it smells of alcohol. Yeah, and that's where we end the session. Everyone gets a level up. Yay! Yay!